Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone today. Welcome those in person and those who are online. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being here to worship your King of Kings and your Lord of Lord. I just want to thank God that he's allowed us to be here together to praise him and to worship him and to honor him and to adore him. We're going to go to Psalms 104 to, four to verse 5. And I also want to thank the leadership of the house for allowing me to be here to coordinate the service today. I give God thanks. Hallelujah. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Verse 5. For the Lord is good. Somebody say the Lord is good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generation. It does not endure to just this generation. But to all generation. So today I want you to stand with me and pray. We're going to pray. And we're going to thank God for his goodness. Let's have an attitude of thanksgiving this morning before God. I will join me and stand and pray before your king. I don't know when you enter into the gates between those doors, how you enter today. I don't know how, what your mind was on before you enter today. I don't know if you were tired, overwhelmed by the week that you had. But God says to enter his gates with thanksgiving. And you will praise the God that we serve today. So today, the 31st of March, we're saying, God, we have a grateful, we're thanking you today. We're going to have the attitude of thanksgiving. So just, just lift up our voice and thank him today. It's between you and him. I don't know what you have to thank him for, but you must know. Even if you went through some trying times this week, you still thank him because it didn't take you out. Let's give him praise. Father God, we lift up your name that is above every other name. And we want to thank you for today. We want to thank you for life. We want to thank you, Lord God, that you have given us your breath today. That we can breathe. That we can give you, even come to your house to worship you with your people today. Lord God, we honor you. In this moment, we're giving, we're giving you everything inside of us. We're having the attitude, the, the attitude of praise, the attitude of thanksgiving. God, there's so much to thank you for, but you said to enter your gates with thanksgiving. And that is what we will do today. We honor you. You are everything, God. Without you, we are nothing. So God, whatever that we have gone through through the week, and God, that we feel like we're heavy and our spirit is, is so quenched and we cannot release it to you. But I pray, God, that you touch each and every one of your people today. That it will open up their hearts to receive from you, to hear from you. Oh, God, the trying, the trials that, take, that happened this week. And they still persevere and came today to worship you. So God, I pray you bless each and every one of your people today. You cover us under your blood and under your wings. That you will protect us today. And those who are on their way, God. I pray, God, that their steps will be hastened. That they're God, that they will get here on time, Lord God. That they will worship you and honor you. Lord, we, we give you the praise and glorify your name. As we honor you and we thank you for your mercies that endure forever and ever we're gonna ask God we're gonna go to Psalms 51 verse 1 to 3 have mercy upon me that's when um, David when he went to Beersheba and he committed sin and he went to God and he says have mercy upon me O God according to thy love and kindness you can take the same prayer and go to God, whatever, whatever it is. And it says, according to thy love and kindness, 
according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Verse 2, blot out my transgressions. Verse 3, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression. I don't know if you know it, but sometimes we do things and we don't remember. And um, so you ask God to remind you of your transgression if you don't remember it. And he will bring it before you. He will let you see what it is. And my sin is ever before the Lord. So we're going to ask God today to, 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 for, to, to, to deliver us from the sin, that the things that we have committed. Things, sometimes we do it and we don't recognize it's a sin. It seems so like a regular thing and it becomes a big thing in the eyes of God. If you don't ask God daily to, to renew your mind and take away the sins. And in 1 John 1 verse 10, the Bible says that um, if we have not... Um, if we sin, okay, first, if we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar. So if we say that we have no sin, we don't want to call God a liar. We don't want to get into that place of calling God a liar. And his word is not in us. So let, us, let his word remain in us. That we know that every word that we read in the scripture, it is true. So we're asking God today for a repentant heart. Let us repent before him, before we go forward in the service, before we can even partake of the worship. Let's ask God to forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray. Father God, right now we are asking you to search our hearts. God, you know what it is. You know that thing that causes us to be uncomfortable when we see our neighbors. You know that thing that causes us, Lord God, to keep going backward. But God, we're asking you this moment that you, Lord God, will blot out all our, our transgression. We repent of anything, God, that would hold us backward, that will hold us back from serving and committing our lives before you. Cover us under your blood and under your wings. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive our prayer this morning in Jesus' name. We're going to commit the service in the hands of God. We're going to commit the musicians. We're going to commit the choir. We're going to commit the pastor. We're going to commit the leaders. All the workers in the house. And commit yourself before God today. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Father God, we commit the service before you. We commit the word that will come forth. Father God, to transform our lives. I pray that our hearts will not be blocked, but we will have a heart to receive your word today. I pray, God, for the choir when they come to sing, God. I pray that your presence will remain with them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, when the musician, God, you cover them under your blood. And if they play today, they will play with the unction of the Holy Ghost. I pray for the media team, God. Cover each and every one of them, God, as they serve in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit everything in your hands. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Right now, we're going to receive Pastor John Stone for the meditation this morning. Be blessed. Hallelujah. If any, is anybody excited in this room today? Hallelujah. We have a living God. Amen. Once more, I would like to thank the leadership always for giving me the opportunity to share the inspirations and uh, that the Lord is doing with me during uh, my time of meditation of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. We are all aware that we're in the book of Genesis at this time. And um, I would like us to read from Genesis 32 verse 22 to 32. Hallelujah. Genesis 32 from verse 22. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, from verse 22. And he rose up that night and took this is talking about J Jacob, right? He's left Laban and he's 
basically fleeing away from Laban. And he says, and he rose up that night and he and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the the ford Jabbok. Next. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestled with and wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Next. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Amen. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. 27. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Somebody say Jacob. Amen. You understand why I'm making you repeat that shortly. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and hast prevailed. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, continue on. And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he said, next, blessed him there. Next. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved your life is preserved today in jesus name amen uh, I'm, i've titled uh, this meditation this morning uh, having an encounter amen an encounter when you look in the dictionary it says to come upon face to face to come up or experience experience unexpectedly hallelujah the question we should be asking ourselves this morning is i like rhetorical questions eh? questions that make you think hallelujah it says have you have you had an encounter with god amen i know say somebody put your hand up and ask me yeah and answer me amen it's like these are questions that just make you reflect was it via a vision was it via a dream? Was it via the word, which I believe is the best one? Hallelujah. John 1.1 1, 1 says what? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So God is his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when you are in prayer, do you have expectations? When you read the word... Do you allow God to speak to you? Can you relate to the word of God? Do you make it your prayer point? Do you meditate on the word of God? Does it sink in better still? Do you allow it to transform you? Amen. These are all rhetorical questions to make us think when we encounter it can be as dramatic as Jacob's was with God. Hallelujah. But we need to understand that God does not have a place. He does not have a time. His ways are not your ways. So there could be a time you're having a great expectation and you don't have that encounter. And there could be a time you don't even have the expectation and boom, you have an encounter. I say this, don't put God in a box. Be ready for an encounter at any time. Your encounter could be right now in this service. Your encounter could be in your secret place of prayer. Your encounter could be in the bus. You just, you, you, you're just riding in the bus or in your car. And God drops something that could transform your life forever. Amen. Some of the things we need to take note because I need to be conscious of time. We started 15 minutes late from this scripture. Jacob spent a great deal of his life running. Amen? We all know the challenge he had with Esau. Esau. That's how it's pronounced, right? Esau. We all 
know that challenge. So I'm not going to elaborate on that. Amen. He cheated his brother from, of his birthright and ran to his uncle, Laban. But we all know it, it took him many, many years. Seven years for the first wife. Another seven years for the second wife. Working and working and working until God gave him a revelation. So the question I ask you this morning is, what are you running from? Amen? Because whether directly or indirectly, we're all running sometimes, at some point of our life, from something. It could be something as simple as seeking reconciliation with somebody. You're running away from it. Amen? It could be an assignment God has given you. You're running away from it. It could be your tithes you're supposed to pay. You're running away from it. Amen? So the running, it doesn't necessarily have to be the physical running. It's just, I'm avoiding it. It's not, it's not your time. I don't think I'm ready. When are you going to be ready? <laughs> That's the question we should be asking ourselves. So Jacob had been running from home. And now, what is he still doing? Running from Laban. Amen. Just a second. God had already been directing his path. That's why he saw success despite Laban trying to cheat him. Amen. So you could be running from something. Doesn't mean God is not going to be there for you. He's always there. We just have to obey. Hallelujah. I said it earlier that one of my, the best encounters you can have that's transformational is the word of God. That's why I said John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was with God. Amen. So, <coughs> now, one thing you need to take note of. Can we go um, to verse 26? It says, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. This was his encounter. He was wrestling with God, right? And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Amen. How many of us are persisting with God? You're in prayer. Go to the, go to the next verse. You're in prayer. You have things you've been asking God for. Are you perseverant? Are you patient? Are you steadily trusting, having faith? Having prayed, having fasted, and done all that was required. Are you losing hope or are you continuing on? Amen. We all saw that Jacob didn't give up. And he said unto him, what is thy name? So what I need you to take note of here is he was conversational with God. There was a to and fro thing happening. It wasn't just him listening from God, nor him just speaking unto God. Amen. We, are, we study the word. We're, thank God for being in a church where we are exposed to the scriptures. I always said this from the very beginning. I came from between the word of God and between is always fresh. Amen. It's not like you, you, you come and you say, I've heard this before. Even when you say to yourself, I've heard this before, there's something new. God will still speak to you. Amen. Now, uh, um, so he was speaking with God, right? God said, what's, what's thy name? And he said, Jacob, right? When you look at the amplified version, we won't have time to look at the amplified version. Jacob's name, do you know what he meant? He meant supplanter, schemer, trickster, swindler. So his name already had a challenge, hence his character. That's why we have to be very careful the names we give to our children. Hallelujah. It's not because I saw a superstar. Let me just call a, a random name called Valerie. And then I'm saying that my daughter or my son, because that's a both male and female name. I'm going to name them that name because it sounds so pretty. Hallelujah. Now, and he, he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Next. And he said, thy name shall be called no more, Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God. Somebody say power with God. Somebody say power with God. The word of God says in Luke 10, 19, that God has given us the power to trample over serpents and scorpions. And nothing by any means can, do, can hurt us or do us harm. Hallelujah. 
So he had an encounter with God. He was conversational with God. When you read it, you come to understand that he, God empowered him. The one of the very next chapter, when you were in chapter what, 32, right? The very next chapter, guess what? He encounters his brother. Amen. Sometimes you have an encounter because there is a one step you need, you need to take further. Let's not forget that Joseph came after him and saved the whole generation. In your obedience, it's not about you. There's many more people that will come after you. We should always want to encounter God. Is it in the worship? Is it in your time of prayer? Is it in your 30 minutes of studying the word of God? What did the apostle say recently? One word. Amen? You don't need five. One could change your life forever. And that is what happened to Jacob. His name was changed to what? Is he, uh, um, God. Um, now, go on to the next, the next verse. Or if this one is not over, it's um, yeah. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore it is that thou dost ask after my name. And he, have I skipped it? There's a part where, yeah, there's a part where he changes his name to Israel. Did you skip it? You might have skipped it. We were, yeah, and said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Thank you. I believe it's the version that threw me off a bit. But the key thing, and what do we understand Israel to be as a meaning? When I looked at the Amplified Version, it says, Contender with God. He contended with God, he was face to face with God. You're studying the Word of God every day. Are you contending with God? Are you allowing him to have an encounter with you? Because guess what? God wants to encounter us. It's us that ignores it sometimes. I'm not saying always, but at times we ignore it. And it could be, like I said, a simple step forward, like reconciling with whoever. Our sister gave that interesting scripture, right? From 1 John chapter 1 and verse 10. We're calling God a liar if we say we don't have sinned. That means we do not know when we have sinned. It could be as simple as offense. Even if you hide it and put a carpet on top of it and smudge it and nobody can see it, it's there. It will eventually come out. And you won't like it the day it comes out uncontrollably. Amen? Now, um... Jacob encountered power. And what happened? He was empowered. Jacob was finally, just a few things, there are many things we can learn from there, was restored. Amen? Sometimes you just need to encounter God to restore you from what the enemy had stolen. He kept running and running. But what happened? He still had to come back to meet his brother he tried to strategize do all methods put my family behind maybe he would just hurt just me and everything but maybe I'm not God he just needed that one encounter to take that step forward because he had generations after him God is asking you to take that step forward by an encounter which could be only as simple as his word don't expect uh, this wonderful dream that sounds like some Marvel movie. It's not that. Amen? For those who don't know Marvel movies, it's the action movies in Hollywood. Amen? So, but a simple thing I want us to be reminded this morning is you should want an encounter with God. Amen? Because it touched me. Every time I read this scripture, it's like I'm, I'm, reading, I'm rereading the scripture anew, if that makes sense. Amen? Because there's nothing more powerful than encountering God, whether it's via his word or whatever means. Just encounter him. Hallelujah. May we rise and, and pray this morning. Just. Amen? The simple prayer point is, Lord, speak, speak to me. 
Amen. I am willing to listen to you. Remember, Jacob was conversational. It was a two and fro. It was not, oh Lord, why me? It was not, oh Lord, I need this. Oh Lord. Sometimes you just need to worship. Amen. We spend a lot of time asking. Where is the relationship? Because your relationship with your father, whether it's you're the daughter or the son, there's a to and fro. I have my young daughter called Josie. Whenever she comes to me, it reminds me of my relationship with God. Amen? <laughs> because a lot of times we come on to God and we have all these expectations. Amen? But sometimes you just need to love on him because he constantly loves on you. Amen. Uh, so let's pray that the Lord will speak to us. We will respond and have that encounter. Whatever the means is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Uh, we thank you for your mercy. Uh, we thank you because you are awesome. Uh, we thank you because you're marvelous. Uh, excellent God, you're doing great things. Uh, we worship and adore you. Uh, Holy Spirit, you have done it. Uh, Holy Spirit, you are strengthening us. Uh, fulfill your divine purpose and your will. Uh, we adore you, El Shaddai. Uh, we praise your name and we glorify your power and your presence. Uh, Holy Spirit, uh, we thank you for your glorious uh, power. We thank you for your glorious presence. Uh, be our guide and our strength. Uh, speak to us so we can respond. Uh, let us be relational. Uh, let us have uh, a back and forth relationship uh, where we, you speak to us, we listen. Uh, and uh, we obey uh, and we speak back unto you, Lord. Uh, give us grace uh, to continue in our worship for you. Be it all magnified uh, in Jesus' uh, mighty name we have prayed. Uh, amen. Uh, the next prayer point simply is that the Holy Spirit uh, to take us to that next level uh, of our journey. The word of God says, the path of the just is as a shining light uh, that shineth more and more unto a perfect day. Uh, I pray that is somebody's portion this morning. Lift up your voices as the Holy Spirit leaves you. Father, we thank you. We thank you because your word has said it. You are the light of the world and there's no limit to our spiritual good. There's no limit to our encounter. There's no limit to this journey we have with you. Lord, strengthen us from faith to faith, from glory to glory, from strength to strength to be empowered to do great things for your glory. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Can we go straight to praise and worship? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you jam those hands with Jesus this afternoon? You can do better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. He's been a good God. We're going to the Jamaicans. Come on, y'all. Before I go forward, I want to give credit to whom is due. So there's this song that one time we're just vibing here. Like usually when we finish rehearsals, we vibe. So God inspired Rayanna and myself. There's this song. So I just want to give credit. There's this, she has some crazy bars that she preached. She, she's a writer. She's a songwriter. So I just want you guys to have it in mind that um, just so you give respect to whom it is due. Yes. Amen. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Amen.
comes just from the mother there's another type of love that comes from the father there's a love that comes from a sister there's a love that comes from a brother what your brother gives you your mother cannot give you that type of love and what your father gives you as love is not the same love your mother is not in the same caliber that your mother will love you but in case there's anybody in here, you probably might not have a brother to experience that brotherly love or you don't have a sister that is there for you when you want to talk to a sister. Oh, mother, oh, father, I want you to remember there's one person we know that has all of that in him. That person is Jesus. That if you need someone to love you as a father, he got you. If you need someone to love you as a sister, he got you. If you need someone to love you as a brother, he got you. If you need someone to love you as a mom because your mother is no longer there, he got you. Now without understanding, can you begin to talk to him? What a privilege and honor we have. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we had in Jesus. Oh, what needless pain to bear. You don't need to carry it on your shoulders because you have a friend in Jesus. And Lord God, we are grateful that we can count on you. We can count on you. Ah. There is a Sweet. 
worship the Lord. Come on, I worship His name. The name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Let's give God the praise and the glory. us today in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you we exalt your name in Jesus name amen time for testimonies everybody you go to my my left your right and join the line with pastor Emmanuel for a time of testimonies what God have done for you and even if, even if you were going through something this week and you feel like God did not come through for you, you still have a testimony. The mere fact that you are here today, that is a testimony. So we give God thanks. Pastor Emmanuel. Uh, don't get tired of seeing me. Amen. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, since the event of that time, I've been having some apprehension, some fears. I've prayed, but it just doesn't seem... Anytime I need to come here, I have to breathe in, breathe out, pray in the Spirit before I can even walk up here. You know, but yesterday I broke that. Amen. I, I've been praying. I said, so one of the things I did, you know, most times, you know, people will tell you, motivational speakers, they tell you, face your fear, right? So what I did is, since that time, I've not watched the clip of that Wednesday. I went searching for it. I couldn't find it. So I, I spoke to Mr. Dwayne and Prophetess Melissa. I said, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to listen to it. I don't know the message I preached. I don't remember anything about that day. So they sent the link to me and I sat down and I watched it. And I thank God Almighty that I'm here. Apprehension is gone. No fear. There's no fear. I've overcome that. Amen. Amen. So, so whatever it is that, whatever it is that, you know, as you approach it, it gives you that. To do, do. Go closer. No worry. But not a dog. <laughs> so, so I just want to thank God Almighty for victory over my fears. I thank God for boldness. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. So when we take steps of faith, grace is released unto us. Amen. I just want to thank God Almighty for, for that. Amen. Amen. We give God thanks and praise for your life. Yes. Go and watch the meditation this morning where Pastor Johnson was talking about what are you running from? What are you running from? Sister Rihanna. Amen. So I want to give God praise and thanks. Um, yesterday I had the opportunity to participate in an event. And it wasn't just a regular art event. All the other artists were Christian. And so there was myself, a Christian painter, another Christian painter. There was a Christian poet, a Christian dancer, and Christian singers. And so I'm, I'm so grateful to see more people rise and accept their calling to be at that gate of influence for entertainment, for media, and to be a part of God raising up that army of people. So it was really a blessing. The conversations that took place were so enriching as well. People were seeing how they were inspired to go deeper in their creativity and their calling. And to add to that, um, I do give lessons in terms of painting and poetry and songwriting, and he's going to talk as well. But seeing all of that, I was just like, no, the people around us, like anyone who also wants to tap into their gift, I'm like, who am I to, to stop them going deeper in that too? Yes. So yes, we just want to glorify God for what he did yesterday. And uh, just a bracket, because many people have been asking me, soon we will launch music lessons. <laughs> so further details will come in the following weeks. So yeah, God bless you all. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Free lesson for me. <laughs> 
No, I will pay. I will pay. I will pay. God bless you. <laughs> Need someone to translate. Bonjour l'église. J'étais. Ah. Bonjour l'église. Hi church. J'étais enceinte. I was pregnant. En fait, quand j'étais enceinte, c'était vraiment douloureuse. J'étais mal toujours à, à droite ici. And uh, while I was pregnant, uh, it was painful and I had pains on my right side. Le médecin m'a dit. The doctor told me. À 37 semaines, il faut que je rentre à l'hôpital. At 37 weeks, I have to uh, go to the hospital. Parce que le bébé a descendu en bas. Okay, because the baby was already ready to come out. Après, elle m'a appelé. And the doctor called me. De entrer à l'hôpital. I went to the hospital. Je suis allé. I went to the hospital. J'étais pas à, en, en fait pour aller faire enfin il faut sentir des douleurs. J'ai pas aucun douleur. So I was not feeling, you know, the, the, the pains that I need to give birth. Quand je suis arrivé à l'hôpital. When I went to the hospital. J'ai appelé Maman Calombo, toutes les équipes de l'église. So she called the pastor Calombo and all the team of the church. Ils m'ont appelé tous et Pasteur, Madame Pasteur, tout, tout le comité là en fait. So everybody <laughs> called me and uh, to, to, and talked to me. Oui, ils m'ont dit mets la foi. And they told me have faith. Et puis tu vas faire le bébé en bien. Amen. And you're gonna give birth. In the right way. Après la prière, After the prayer, le médecin est venu. The doctor came. Ils vont déclencher l'accouchement. Uh, they started uh, so that she could give birth on that time. Et grâce à Dieu, and thank to the Lord, j'ai fait pas césarienne. I didn't have a C-section. J'ai fait le bébé en bien. I gave birth normally. Je suis là avec le bébé Amen. She matin. came with the baby. Merci, gloire à Dieu pour tout. And glory to the Lord. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Pastor. Merci. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing amongst us. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you come, just do a brief, your testimony, nice and sweet, because we're running behind time. Thank you. Avant de donner mes témoignages, j'aimerais chanter quelque chose. She would like to sing a song. Dans mon cœur. A song that the Lord has put in her heart. Okay. No. No. <laughs> she will sing. I'll just translate the lyrics. La chanson c'est c'est comme ça. Guarda Senhor o coração do meu pastor. A sua oração alivia a minha dor. Keep Lord the heart of my pastor because his prayer eases my pain. A qualquer hora, em qualquer lugar, Anytime, in ele any place. é o amigo que eu posso contar. He is a friend that I can count on. Quantas vezes me ensinando a Bíblia, me tocou tão fundo que me fez chorar. Many times he teaches me the Bible and he touched me so deep that I cry. Por isso eu oro, peço todo dia neste mundo mal enganador. Because I pray every day for this evil world. Lord, keep the heart of my pastor. Guarda, Senhor. Keep the heart of my pastor. Do meu pastor. Dear me, essa chanson dans meu cor, parce que. Lá c'est en français. J'ai passé. Le début d'année, j'avais une hémorragie. And, uh, at, in the beginning of the year. Oui, j'étais avec le médecin. Uh, she had bleeding. Oui, j'étais avec le médecin. I was with the doctor. Ils m'ont donné une pilule pour arrêter. 
They gave me a prescription to stop the bleeding. Mais ça pas. And it still it was going on. And for two, uh, two months, I still had that bleeding. My husband and I prayed at home. And uh, my husband told me to go see the apostle. Because it affected me very much, even psychologically. And I was in pain, and uh, it affected me so much. And I went to see the apostle. The apostle and uh, Pastor Faith prayed for me. The same day, the bleeding stopped. Après, j'ai vu encore les médecins parce que après trois jours, ça retournait. And after three days, the bleeding started again. Et, des, et je disais à les médecins, les pilules que vous avez donné, que l'autre médecin avait donné parce que c'est un deuxième médecin. So I saw another doctor. Ça fait rien. And uh, I told them that I told the, that, that second médecin, doctor that the pill that they prescribed didn't do anything. Les médecins dit mais c'est les pilules qu'on utilise pour arrêter les sangrements. Même si tu vas aux urgences, c'est ça qu'ils vont te donner. And they told me that this is the same pill that they gave for stopping bleeding. Uh, la porte une fois. I went to see the apostle a second time. La porte a prié pour moi. The apostle prayed for me. Et je me rappelle qu'il a dit ça va s'arrêter, c'est fini, ça va pas retourner. And uh, he said to me, it is well. Everything et, will et stop. Journée, and from that day, jours après, ça a arrêté, three days after it stopped ça fait deux semaines, and it's been two weeks, ça ça I didn't have any bleeding. Et le médecin, on mon pour le mois and the doctor gave me another appointment for April. Je vais aller à les mais Dieu m'a guéri avant. Amen. I will go to the, appo the appointment, but merci. I know God has healed me. Uh, thank et you. I would like to thank the apostle and Pastor Faith. Leur vie and I pray et for their Dieu lives. À bénir sa and uh, the Merci. Lord may continue to bless Amen. his family. Amen. Amen. Father, we decree and declare. If there's anyone here also, you have an issue that has been going and coming. Put your hand there and we're going to use that as a point of contact also. Alors, uh, pour ceux qui ont aussi des problèmes de santé qui viennent et partent, Mettez votre main sur vous-même. Au nom de Jésus. Power! Release it. Let it be permanent. Que cela soit permanent. Father, you have done it. Père, tu l'as fait. It's never gonna come again. Ça ne va pas revenir encore. I speak upon everyone. Je prie sur tout le monde. Here and online. Ici présent et By en the ligne. Power of your spirit. Par la puissance de ton esprit. Affliction will not rise again. L'affliction ne reviendra plus. Let the pattern be broken. Que ce cycle soit And let it cease permanently. Et que cela cesse en the permanence. The testimony establishes it. Et le témoignage l'établit. It is decreed. Et cela est décrété. And so shall it be. Et cela est ainsi. You that is receiving your own healing, receive your healing. Et vous qui recevez votre guérison, recevez votre guérison. Receive your liberation. Recevez votre libération. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate Jesus? Pouvons nous célébrer Jésus. Hallelujah. Thank God. Brief, brief. We're running behind time. Thank you, everyone. Shalom. My name is Adelina. I'll try to be brief. I have two testimonies, uh, financial testimonies. So last year for me, 2023 was what I thought the worst year ever in every area of my life, financially, mentally, spiritually, every area. But especially financially, I quit my job in May 2023. And uh, for the whole year, I trusted the Lord for a job and I didn't get any. But in that way, I started to get so many debts because I was living, of course. And I was praying, Lord, uh, either you give me a job to pay all those things, either you pay my, my debt, I don't know what you're gonna do. And this, uh, so the whole year was very, I struggle, I struggle. I pray, I cried, I fasted, I did everything, nothing happened. So this year, 2024, for my birthday, I received a check, which was in a, a return on investment, that I could pay all my debt, first of all, and then get um, profit from it also. That's my first testimony. The second one, also a financial one, uh, for those of you that were there Wednesday for the Bible study, when Apostle said that the Lord is going to do a miracle with eight, well, I took it for me because um, 2023, as, as I thought, the worst year ever, uh, the government told me I need to pay them $8,000. 
and um, I knew it wasn't like, no, this is, this is not normal. I contact them, I wrote them a letter, I, I called them, nothing. No, you still need to pay that money. Anyway, I didn't pay it for the whole year, of course, I was not working. And um, this, uh, this year, I was as I was doing my taxes, I went on the, uh, on the website after, you, um, you, after the apostle said that uh, the miracle with aid, and then the, the debt of $8,000 is miraculously gone, <laughs> gone, gone. I found it nowhere. So I just want to thank the Lord. I just want to thank the Lord, praise the Lord for everything he has done. Thank you. Amen. Whoa. God is good. Praise God. Onika been bothering me to come and testify for her. So, um, <laughs> so when Onika was three year old, Onika got hit by a chalo chuck. Bring her up in the air and bring her back in the middle of the street. And she got up, came onto the, um, the sidewalk and passed out. So we called the ambulance, the ambulance came, the doctor was, they, were, they didn't touch was gonna make it. And um, when she did um, overcome, the doctor said she, would be, she wouldn't be normal. She gonna be functioning a four-year-old body, and mind, she gonna have a four-year-old mindset, and um, she wouldn't be able to do anything for herself. She's a miracle right here standing beside me. She, you know, she's a miracle. So God have been so awesome to her. She's the loving, most loving person I ever know. Every morning she wake up, she come in my room, she give me a hug. She call me um, when I'm at work, mommy, how are you? How is the patient I'm going? She is so loving and kind. I, she's, I, God is on her side. And remember, she, it wasn't, she, got, she didn't get hit by a car or a chiller or a um, SUV, a chiller truck, a big tall one. And so she's a miracle standing here. So may God bless you. God bless you. Listen. And she serves in the children's department. Et elle sert dans le département des enfants. She helps the little children. Come on, let's celebrate the Amen. Lord for that. Amen. là. Célébrons là. We believe. Nous croyons. By the way, the, the miracle of aid, as you asked. She was testifying. The Lord said there are many more people to have those miracles. Et le miracle de huit, Dieu a dit qu'il y aura beaucoup plus many de gens qui vont recevoir ce miracle de huit. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. We believe we serve a God that restores. Nous, nous croyons que nous servons un Dieu qui restaure. That is a restoration of God. Et ça c'est la restauration de Dieu. Well, sister Annette, come and stand here. Whatever the decree, this child. Peu importe le décret, mais cet God enfant. Has the power to restore her fully. Et Dieu a la puissance de la restaurer totalement. She was not born like this. Elle n'a pas été, elle n'est pas née de it cette façon. C'était un accident. And we serve a God of miracles. Et nous servons un Dieu de miracles, amen. Stretch for your hand with faith Alors, in your heart. Alors étendez vos mains avec foi. Can I have the oil there? And begin to prophesy. Et commencer à prophétiser. She will leave the, her brain and everything will function in the capacity of her age. Et son cerveau va fonctionner selon la capacité de son âge. The power of restoration. La puissance de la restauration. We serve a restorer God. Nous servons un Dieu qui restaure. We serve a restorer God. Nous servons un Dieu Come qui restaure. Come on, somebody begin to decree. Que quelqu'un décrète. Father, what happened on that day of the accident? Correct it. Père, ce qui est arrivé ce jour-là lors de l'accident. The delayance that was done, cancel it. Le retard qui a été fait. Ikerem. What happened on that day? Correct it. Let her brain match her age. Let her functionality match her age. Let there be a miracle. A miracle in the princess. A miracle in her life. In the name of Jesus. Pastor, may we come? Pastor you have the grace of restoration. Vous avez la grâce de la restauration. Give him oil. Lay your hands on his head. Oh, imposez sa, les mains sur sa tête. Medically, they said you cannot do this. Les they said dit, you, you were not able pas, to function like this. Vous n'alliez pas faire ceci. Vous n'alliez pas Lay fonctionner ainsi. Lay your hands and decree restoration. Imposez lui la main et déclarez la restauration. Kahalabos keleba satata, labrado sekete li gaba honde sapata, shamba handa labo shata, eli kadu bradosa. Mahandila bo shatata. 
Yele kusakata la bo shakata. Ma mindo skite brolis kapra hindo skole badosa. Shandi kali kado li kado koli kahande la bodo sete. Sabra hande kalabo shatata. We bless you, Lord. Eli kuba shatata. Halabo shatata. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Kalabo shatata. Yes, Lord. E kalabo satabaya. Lebrado sata. Kahanda labo shatata. Thank you, Lord. Kahanda labo shakata. Yes, Lord. Merci, In Seigneur. Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. It is done. Est Let's fait. celebrate Jesus. Célébrons Jésus. Amen. You are going to see change in how she functions. Eh? It's going to be synonymous to, to our age. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am here because I just want to give God thanks and praise. I cannot let this one go. Amen. I received my registration for my vehicle in October the 5th. And I didn't remember about it because I was so busy. And about maybe two days ago, I got a letter. I didn't pay my registration from October the 5th. And this is March. And I'm saying, wow, God, you're merciful. Driving without registration is a crime. <laughs> I could have been impounded. I would have gotten a ticket. Many things could happen. But I saw the mercy of God. From October to March, God kept me. He kept my vehicle. Because my son, Jason, told me. They pulled him over because I had his registration. I didn't know. That was a registration. I thought it was insurance. I said, why did they set it so early? And then what happened? He said he was driving. And the police pulled him over and they said his registration came up, that it was unpaid. And that's how I know that me driving without my registration, if the police got close enough to me, they would know that I did not pay the registration. But God's mercy has kept me from March, from October 5th until today. I paid it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I can drive again. Amen. So the mercy of God, when you understand God's mercy, it overrides everything else. The mercy of God. May his mercy rest upon you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I stand to get God all the glory and the praise for his, his grace and his mercy. I was sitting in there, out there, I don't want to come out to testify. But I have to testify because of the goodness of the Lord. My stepson, my foster son in Liberia, in my country, there's a thing we can ride, it's, they call it keke. He was in it and he was riding and he said one day passing over there, distracting him, talking to him, talking to him. When he turned around, the worker kept fell down with everybody in, the, in it. And to God be the glory that I was, because when he told me that morning, it, it, me, it, it was just something that was not good, but I know that it was God. Because it could be car or truck to match every one of them in the, at this time they are dead. But to God be the glory, God was there and faithful. Because I told God, I said, my children, wherever they are, the enemy should not see them. They should not locate them. They should not find them. I mark every one of them with the blood of Jesus. I say I will not be buried and my children will not be buried. And I get God the glory. The only thing that happened, the, 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 the Lord was in the car and I think she broke her hand. And he called me and said, oh man, the, the people pump the, pump the keke, they say I should make sure the woman be healed. And then I, so I think he said, right now I don't have money, but the God be the glory. I thank God that it never went the way the enemy mean for evil, but God turned it around. I give God the glory Amen. in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, um, let's, let's stand. Let's stand and give God thanks for all the testimonies. There are so many testimonies. So let's just pray. And I'm also a candidate of like God, God mercy for that 800. Someone was asking me, what bills do you have? I'm like, oh, why is somebody asking me for my bill? Usually I'm the one paying for my bill. But I, I, I reluctantly gave it and the person paid everything. Everything, $2,000 bill. It was, 
was $1,800, but the person gave extra. We give God thanks. Yes, eight. Come to Bible study. Uh-huh. God, God bless you. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Father God, we give you praise. We thanks for all the testimonies. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for financial blessing. We thank you, Lord God, for a project that are coming through. We thank you for breakthroughs, oh God. And we thank you, Lord God, that we know that you are a miracle working God. And we give you praise and thanks for this house. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing everyone to be here and to be a partaker of the miracle that is happening. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover your people in Jesus' name as we pray. Um, now it's time to give to the Lord. We're going to give our offering first and then our tithes. You can find the, the envelopes behind your chair and um, give it with joy. Give it with love in Jesus' name. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise. Into the house of the Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you for your children who brings their tithe into your house. That the blessings of God for tithing be established over their lives. We speak your favor over them. Oh Lord, let them experience increase, multiplication by the power of your spirit. That the windows of heaven will be released over them. They will experience that favor. My Father, my God, they will not give their tithe and go back and cry. But they will give their tithe and experience laughter. In the name of Jesus, let it be decreed and established. Even those who have given online, in the name of Jesus, we receive the offerings with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, celebrate the Lord. This is Sunday, March 31st, 2024. Time for the announcements. Wednesday Bible studies from 5.30 to 7.30. And you're encouraged to come and, and enjoy the wonderful, wonderful teachings that are happening. And if not, you can join online. Um, men's prayer every Monday, and it's from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Woman's prayer every two weeks. Next session, it will be April 2nd, which is Tuesday. Amen. Women? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Registration for the new batch of School of Deliverance has begun. See Deaconess Mary for all details. Where's Deaconess Mary? Everyone should know who Deaconess Mary is. And if you don't know, ask some. Um, <laughs> well, somebody could be new. Um, the Excellent Leadership Conference. Excellent Leadership Conference. Amen. You're excited, right? 
Uh-huh. I pray that you start registering because it's, two, it's only $200. All right? And registration fee for all Canadian residents is $200. For all information, see the, um, for the, all information, just give me a second. For all information concerning the international part participant, see the apostle. For, um, and for the online registration, go to gloryland.com. Evangelism will be May 4th. Evangelism, yesterday I came. I was late, but I came and I, I, I spoke with someone and um, they gave me their number and they are coming to this church. Amen. And the time will be at 3 p.m. Um, we will all meet at church for prayers and for prayers before you go out to go minister to the people. Amen. Deliverance boot camp. Amen. Deliverance boot camp. Amen. Hallelujah. The date is April 5th to 7th. And the Friday, it starts at 10 p.m. to 3, to, to 3 a.m. And it's... Friday coming. So uh, when you finish work, don't even go home. Pack your bags before you go, go, go to work and come straight here. Amen. Right? Because you will be here until 3 in the morning. Yes. Amen. It's going to be a glorious time. It was so really wonderful the last time. I was sick with my foot and I'm healed. So just come. Come expecting. And Saturday is from 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. So you come back again to be blessed. Amen? Amen. Sunday, Super Miracle Sunday. Am I the only one excited about it? Hallelujah. And the time is from 11 a.m. and it's one service. So if you come at 9 o'clock, you just walk around the building and pray until 11 o'clock. Don't go back home. <laughs> All workers retreat. It will be Saturday, April 20th, and the time is 8.30 to 1 p.m. Youth ministry. All youths and, um, have intercession every Sunday at 8 p.m. Intercession. That's amazing. The youth ministry is in uh, partnership with Okult, barbership, barber, barber shop, who is offering two ear cuts at discounted price per month. Hmm. Think about it and go see the youth, minister, the ministers. To have all further details, see Minister Adam and Minister Kimberly. And the next men's breakfast will be April 13th. The men, I hear nothing. Are we allowed to come? Because you guys are not excited. And it's, it's April 13th at 8 a.m. And it will be at church. Uh, the new workers' training time will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And all leaders should review um, those who are not trained and send their, um, their members to see Sister Pastor Johnstone. Um, we're going to be doing fasting. So um, eat all you can eat today. Get your belly full because fasting is coming up. And it's going to be starting. So we have three days beginning of the month of fasting and prayers. And it starts April 2nd, which is Tuesday um, to April 4th. Um, the time will be from noon. And the next session uh, in the evening will be from 5.30 p.m. This is in preparation for the boot camp. So we're getting you ready to receive from God. Um, School of Ministry. 1 and 2, Saturday 13th of April. So 1 and 2, remember that you have class on the 13th of April. A woman's meeting will be April 27th, and the time will be 5 p.m., and, and it will be, um, oh, it will be at church. Excuse me for that. And um, we are going to be welcoming our first-time visitors. Is there any first-time visitors in the house today? I, I, we can't, I can't see a line, but if you are online and you're visiting us for the first time as well, just indicate and someone will definitely get in touch with you. Is, do, do we have any, anyone in, in the house today that I didn't see? Okay. 
we're going to continue inviting people to come to the house of God and worship. In Jesus' name, we'll receive the choir for the meditation song, ministration song. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't he an awesome God? Hallelujah. Um, the title of the song we're about to minister is called Still. Hallelujah. Many of us go through different stages of our lives. But what I love about the chorus of this song, it says, When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you are God. Do we actually know him as God? Because if we do, no matter the storm we face, we will be still. Be blessed as we minister this song.
Jesus, he is here to meet your need and to see you through in the name of Jesus Lamentation 3, verse 36 and 37. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. To subvert a man in his own curse, the Lord approved enough. You will not be deprived. Anything that belongs to you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you will not be cheated. That which is yours must be for you. Amen. If the Lord has said it, it would come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 37. Thirty-seven. And the Bible says, who is he that said? And it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded, commanded not. Your wealth, your health, any other thing that belongs to you. The Bible says you will not be cheated. 
Paul lifts up your voice and say, I receive it. I, receive I recover it. all. I it's recover a year all. of recovery. Yes, Lord. Take it all. Recovery. I cannot be left out. It is my year to your recover. I recover it all. Your power restore everything. My hair is recovered. Our health is recovered. Our finance is recovered. Come on, come on. It doesn't matter what you are saying. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Stand with God. Come on. Hey. Up your hand, everyone. Say by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Any accusation against me. Contre moi. Against my house. Contre ma maison. Against my business. Contre mes affaires. Against my career. Contre ma carrière. Against my health. Contre ma santé. Against my education. Contre mon éducation. That is going on. In the realm of the spirit. Today, it is cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood silence the accusers. Silence the mockers. Open your mouth and pray. Father, silence the accuser. In the name of Jesus, all the rose up against my life. By the blood of Jesus, let the all upon and swallow them. We are praying according to we are, we are praying according to Romans chapter eight. Nous prions avec Romans chapter eight. Because there the, 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 the are many people who have been accused spiritually. Parce qu'il y a beaucoup de personnes qui sont accusées spirituellement. Devil is trying to pass some judgments when he has no qualification. Et le diable essaie de passer jugement quand il n'est pas qualifié. He's speaking. Il parle. We've had two two people when two people come and and, and share to me. About a, 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 an enemy passing a judgment on them. À propos de l'ennemi qui passe un jugement à propos d'eux. Then I know that it is what the devil is trying to do. Donc il a su que c'est ce que l'ennemi veut faire. Romans chapter eight. Romans chapter eight. We're looking at from verse thirty-one. À partir du verset translation from verse thirty-one. I want everybody. Que tout le monde. If it's possible to be on your feet, be on your feet. Que si vous êtes debout. One, two, we're going to read. One, two, go. Now, who, 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 who is the us you are prophesying to? Uh, who you keep saying that God is for, is, is, This is not about us, it's about me. Don't say pas propos de nous, c'est à propos de toi, c'est personnalisé. I want you to believe it. Je veux que vous croyez à cela. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? One, two, go. What shall I say about such wonderful things? If God is for me, who can be against me? Read it again. If God is for me, 
Who can be against me? In the name of Jesus. We are going to read it now for the church. If God is for the church, who can be against the church? I want you to believe this. If God is for me, and I know God is for me, Et je sais que Dieu est pour moi. Is God for you? Est-ce que Dieu est pour Is God for you? Est-ce que Dieu est pour I didn't hear. Is God for you? Est-ce que Dieu est pour So toi? say it like you believe it. Dis-le comme tu le crois. Say if God is for me, Dieu est pour who moi. can be against me? Say no moi. one. Personne. In the name of Jesus. De Jésus let Christ. every decree, every judgment, every accusation be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Nah! Open your mouth and pray. Shakata la basata. La pato sata. Le capato sata. Shahana la bosha tata. In Jesus' name. Next verse. Since now, let's read now. Read. Since he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for me, won't he also give me everything else? Hey! S'il n'a pas épargné son propre fils, he gave up his son for me. Il a donné son fils pour nous. Will he not give me everything else? Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive everything else. Come on, begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Thank you for receiving everything. Mahandala. I receive everything else. I receive everything else. I receive everything else. I receive everything else. In Jesus' name. Now, hear me. This is the New Testament. Ici c'est le Nouveau Testament. Now next verse. Prochain verset verset 33. Now look at that. Do you see that? Now read it. Who dare accuse me whom God has chosen for his own? No one. For God himself has given me right standing with himself. Read it again. Hey! Qui accusera les élus de Dieu? C'est Dieu qui justifie. You are afraid because the devil does this or that. Et tu as peur parce que le diable fait ceci et cela. Listen. Écoutez. Hakada bo satabaya. The Bible says. La Bible dit. No one. Il dit personne. Can judge another man's servant. Ne peut juger un autre le serviteur de Dieu. To your master you stand or you fall. De devant ton maître tu te tiens ou tu sors. Even if you fall. Il dit même si tu sors. He is able to lift you up. Il va te relever. Look at the devil say, believe the word of God. Regarde à ton voisin, tu dis, crois à la parole de Dieu. Hey! Read it again. Et lisez une fois. Who dare accuse me whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given me right standing with himself. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare that word upon your life. Yay! No one can accuse me. No one can accuse my business. No one can accuse the church. No one can accuse my family. Kati brodo esekete brahi kado sabata. Iyaba la ba yaba das. Iyaba la ba daba 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 das. No one can accuse you. No one can accuse you. No one can pass judgment on you. Shahala balaba sabata. In Jesus' name. Amen. The next verse. I want you to take note. Those of you who are walking as if the whole condemnation is on your head. This is for you. Read. Who then? Come on, read. Who then will condemn me? What is the answer? Person. Who then will condemn me? What is the answer? No one. Who will accuse me? What is the answer? No one. Who will condemn me? No one. Person. Celebrate Jesus. 
That is the word. Quelle est la parole? That the devil pass judgment on your life. Le diable passe le jugement sur ta vie. Et tu paniques. He pass judgment on your business. Il passe le jugement sur tes affaires. On your finances. Et tes finances. He pass judgment on your health. Et sur ta part. No. No. Name of Jesus. And they are mocking you. Ah. Ils se moquent de toi. Let them mock. Qui se moque. One good thing about mocking is that it ends with laughter. Donc, il On de my part. La moquerie, ça finit par les rires. Oh. What has become of her? Oh, qu'est-ce qu'elle est devenue? Since she started going to that church. Oh, depuis qu'elle a commencé Since à she started cette... doing this. Oh, puisqu'elle a commencé what à faire ceci, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Let them speak. Qu'ils parlent. You know one thing? Vous savez une chose? One thing which is certain. Une chose qui est certaine. Is that no one? C'est que personne. No one. Personne. Why? Pourquoi? Read the next verse. Et, et, et le prochain for verset. Christ died for me and was raised to life for me. Quand He is sitting in the place of God's at God's right hand, pleading for me. Amen. Hey! He died for you. He was raised for you. He is in heaven pleading for you. No man can accuse you. No man can condemn you. No man can judge you. Nobody. It doesn't matter. Peu importe. Nobody. Person. Next verse. Prochain verset. Can anything ever separate us from the love of God? Does it mean that He no longer loves us if we have trouble, calamity, or are persecuted? Next verse. Uh, or hungry, or thirsty, or in danger, or threatened with death. Next verse. 36. As the scripture says, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Next verse. Uh, 37. No. Despite all these things, overwhelming victory is mine. Ah. Come on, say, overwhelming victory is mine. Through Jesus who loved me. Lift up your voice and thank Jesus. Give the Lord praise. Thank him. No one can accuse you. Thank you for your faith. Thank you for your faith. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you he, if he can hold somebody... Now, I don't know why God wants us to pray this prayer now. If you can hold somebody's hand, hold somebody's hand. We are going to make a, 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 a declaration. Nous allons faire une déclaration. Tu peux tenir la main de quelqu'un. Any judgment. Tout jugement. Any accusation. Toute accusation. Any voice. Tout voix. That is speaking. Qui parle. And saying in the realm of the spirit. Et qui dans le règne spirituel. We are laughing at you. Nous nous moquons de toi. We are toi. mocking you. Nous nous moquons de toi. Because it will toi. not come to pass. Parce que ça ne s'est pas accompli aujourd'hui. Today, aujourd'hui. We stand as a church. Nous nous tenons comme église. And we silence that voice. Et nous faisons taire cette voix. And we cancel that judgment. Nous annulons ce jugement. Because judgment. based on the scriptures. Basé sur, basé sur les scriptures. They have no legality. Ils n'ont pas de droit It doesn't légal. matter what you did, they have no legality. Because the blood of Jesus is speaking on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. Say, by the blood of Jesus, we silence the voice of the accuser. We cancel every decree and every judgment. Let the blood answer them. Let the blood answer them. Let the blood answer them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, let the blood answer the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, oh, let the blood answer them. 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 Over my marriage, let the blood answer them. Over my business, let the blood answer them. Over my job, let the blood answer them. Over our health, let the blood of Jesus answer. You are calling. Over my career, let the blood answer them. Over my health, let the blood of Jesus answer them. Over my family, let the blood of Jesus answer them. Over my health, over my finances, let the blood of Jesus answer them. Over my education, let the blood answer them. Over my children, let the blood answer them. Begin to declare it. Over my ministry, let the blood answer them. Over this church, let the blood answer them. Yala basata, le kaba satata, 
Labrado Satata, Mahana Labo Shakata, Shakata Labo Satata. Let the blood answer them. Let the blood answer them. Let the blood answer them. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you believe that, celebrate Jesus. The blood answers them. Le sang In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Quickly, let's have the baby for dedication. Nous allons avoir le bébé pour la dédicace. Where the father and the mother come with the baby, please. Thank you, Jesus. Let's celebrate the Lord. Célébrons le Seigneur. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Godi Mother. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquer. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. What's the name of this baby? Isaac. Isaac. A e? full name. Darius. Darius Isaac. C'est pas comme King Darius, n'est-ce pas? Darius, c'est le prénom ou le nom de famille? Okay, okay. So Darius. Donc ça signifie quelque chose. Tu feras. C'est pas le Darius que on lit dans la Bible. Je ne veux pas Darius là. <laughs> okay. Isaac Darius. Isaac signifies re. Yeah. So the baby is laughter. Dans le bébé, le no That's the meaning of Isaac, laughter. Er, uh, Isaac signifies Turn and face me. Tourne. Stretch for your hands and pray for this baby. Et tourne la main et prier pour ce bébé. Come on, let's, let's, those are the, the, the family. Oui, All la of fa them come. La We are dedicated these ones, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. You're looking good, eh? Vous êtes beau. Wow. Hmm. Le Seigneur est bon, eh? <laughs> Just stand and face us. Please pray for the baby, baby Isaac Darius. Priez pour le bébé, le bébé Isaac Darius. Bless the life of the baby. Shall we pray Bénissez in the name of Jesus? Bébé. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We lift up this baby into your hands. The power of your spirit, the power of your blood, the power of your name. In the name of Jesus, Lehidebos Ketebra Hindus Kolobo Santa, Zampala Kolobo Lika Balo Sekita, Mahinda Balo Satata, Jacotolo Godo Sekita, Lebrando Skete Kaba Hindu Kuleba Santa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yakolobo Shakata. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up Isaac Darius into your hands. Excellent God, thank you for the day the baby was put in the mother's Merci womb. Pour le jour que le bébé était mis dans le thank de you maman. for the day the baby was born. Merci pour le jour il était né. Just like all the testimonies surrounding the birth of the baby. Juste comme tous les témoignages qui entourent la naissance du bébé. It's a sign of your greatness upon his destiny. C'est un signe de grandeur dans sa destinée. A sign that his destiny will be filled with laughter. Donc un signe que sa destinée va être plein de rire. From education. De l'éducation. To 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 career. De la carrière. To even the things of God. Même pour les choses de Dieu. It will always be times of laughter. Il sera, il sera toujours un temps de By the power of your spirit, par la puissance de ton esprit, may your hand be strong over him. Que ta main soit forte sur lui. That everywhere he goes, que partout qu'il aille, even in difficult situations, même dans les situations difficiles, he will bring laughter. Il va apporter du rire. And rire. laughter will heal the hearts of many people. Dans son rire, il va guérir le cœur de oh plusieurs Lord, personnes. Oh Seigneur, we lift up this baby into your hands. Nous t'élevons ce bébé entre tes mains. Receive him and accept him. Reçois le et accepte le. Let him be yours. Qui t'appartient. By the power of your spirit, Par la puissance de ton esprit, we commit his destiny into your hands. Nous remettons ta de sa destinée entre tes mains. You will guide him and lead him through the path on earth. Donc tu vas le garder, le diriger sur les pas du chemin. His heart will never depart from you. 
Il ne va seulement s'éloigner de toi. Every aspect of his life. Tout aspect de sa vie. Will be laughter and laughter and laughter. Sera du riz, du riz et du riz. It will not be laughter because of excitement. Il ne va pas rire parce qu'il est excité. It will be laughter because it will be genuine prosperity in every aspect of his life. Donc ça va être du riz parce que ça va être une prospérité authentique dans tout aspect de sa vie. Prosperity. Une une prospérité authentique. In every aspect. Dans tout aspect. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. By the time he reaches the prime of his life. Oh le au moment où il arrive le sommet de sa vie, be a beacon of light il sera comme la lumière de la vie. Et il sera la For the acceleration power of your light will be upon him. My Father, my God. Mon Dieu, mon roi. Here is the baby. Ici c'est le bébé. That will become so great. Qui sera si grand. Even at the prime of his life. Même au sommet de sa vie. Here is the baby. Oui, ici c'est le bébé. That your mighty hand will guide. Que ta main puissante va guider. And release him in the fullness of time. Et va être relâché à la plénitude du temps. To stand on mountain tops. Pour se tenir au sommet de la montagne. And declare the words. Of laughter to people, et déclarer les paroles de rire aux gens. Which through the preaching of the good news. Que ça va être au travers de la prédication de la bonne parole. My Father, my God. Mon Dieu, mon roi. Establish everything you declare upon him. Établis tout ce que tu déclares dans sa vie. Let him be the source of laughter in his family. Qu'il soit le source, la source de du rire dans sa famille. A baby that will bring joy. Un bébé qui va apporter la joie. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. We disconnect him from any paternal or maternal lineage. Nous le déconnectons de la lignée paternelle et maternelle. Let him only move in his own. Proper foundation established by the Lord. Qui va dans la, la propre fondation établie par le Seigneur. Bless him, Lord. Bénis le Seigneur. Accept him. Accepte le. And fill him. Remplis le. With laughter. Avec du rire. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Merci Saint Esprit. Let your name be glorified. Que ton nom soit glorifié. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Bénis les seigneurs. Relâche ta puissance sur eux. Come on, lay hands. We pray for them. Yes, Lord, bless this family. Bénis cette famille. Oh Lord, we've heard the testimony of the mother. Nous avons entendu le témoignage de la maman. They will never go through any calamity again. Qui ne vous traverse plus aucune calamité. These health challenges come to an end. Ce problème de santé se termine aujourd'hui. It will be from glory to glory. Ils vont aller de gloire en gloire. From strength to strength. De force en force. Put your power over their lives. Seigneur, mets ta puissance dans leur vie. Let it be known. Qui soit connu. That there will never be any cause to go to the hospital again. Qui n'y ait plus de de qui n'aille plus à l'hôpital. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Bless them. Bénis-les. To be able to take care of Isaac. Qui soit capable de prendre soin d'Isaac. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate the Lord for them? Est-ce qu'on pouvait célébrer le Seigneur pour eux? Amen. Amen. Come on, people, let's celebrate baby Isaac. Célébrons le bébé Isaac. God bless you. Amen. 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 Come on, bless the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Awesome. 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 Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Let's have our declaration for the year, and then we move on. La déclaration de l'année. Uh, stand on your feet. One minute, please. Thank you. Levez-vous une minute. I love you guys. Je vous aime. You are standing and smiling. Vous tenez, vous and I hope your smile is coming from your heart. Et j'espère que votre sourire vient de votre cœur. Hello. Amen. Uh -huh. Lift up your hand. Let's declare. Levez la main et Shall déclarer. we go? By the grace of God, I declare 2024 to be a year of continuous multiplication and greatness in the Lord. This 2024 in the secret place of the Lord. Therefore, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Therefore, no evil or affliction shall be upon my household in Jesus' name. This year, as I receive the word of God into my spirit, I am transformed into the image of Christ. Be fruitful in all good works and move from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. I receive great illumination in the eyes of my understanding to know and manifest in my calling the riches of my inheritance, the greatness of his power working in me to become great in the kingdom of God. 
My children shall grow in the way of the Lord. They shall be like olive plants, run about my table, and walk in greatness. And Jesus said, I believe my spiritual life, my health, my business, my project, my education, my career, my ministry, my relationships shall be in continuous multiplication this year. Amen. Celebrate him. Thank you, Father. Be gracious to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated. Amen. Amen. So in our fasting, we are reading the book of Nehemiah. Pour le jeûne, nous allons lire le livre de Nehemiah. So please make sure you follow up so that um, it's going to help you for the boot camp. Et rassurez-vous de suivre, ça va aider pour le camp de délivrance. Because the boot camp, we are going to be dealing with Nehemiah. Parce que dans le bout, euh, le camp de délivrance, nous allons parler de Nehemiah. Every aspect of Nehemiah. Tout aspect de Nehemiah. Nehemiah had the grace to rebuild what was destroyed. Et, et Nehemiah avait la grâce de rebâtir ce qui était dé, avait été détruit. That's why you cannot miss this boot camp. C'est pour cela que vous ne pouvez pas rater ce camp de délivrance. So get into the fasting, study the book of Nehemiah. Allez dans le jeûne, étudiez le livre de Nehemiah. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will be gracious to you. Et le Seigneur vous sera gracieux. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Invite some Somebody, Invitez quelqu'un. Get somebody to come for the miracle nights. Venez avec quelqu'un pour la nuit des miracles. And all through the, the weekend. Et tout et tout au travers du la fin de semaine du weekend. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. And so uh, and and invite somebody for the miracle next week Sunday. So it's a miracle service so, so, Sunday, and we also have communion service. Donc le dimanche prochain c'est le, le dimanche des miracles et c'est le dimanche de communion so aussi. Take the three days fasting to prepare yourself for the communion service. Prenez les trois jours de jeûne pour vous préparer pour le service de communion du dimanche. At eleven o'clock, so you don't, you cannot afford to miss that. À onze heures, ne vous permettez pas de manquer cela. We have been talking about this is the month of faith. Ici, c'est le mois de foi. And we have been talking about the concept of faith. Et nous parlons du concept de la foi. We said there are three concepts. There are many concepts, but we look at three. On y a plusieurs concepts, mais nous parlons de trois. And the first concept we said was the voice of the Lord. Et le premier concept c'est la voix de Dieu. When the voice of the Lord is in your spirit, that is the onset of faith. Donc, quand la voix de Dieu dans ton esprit, ça c'est le meilleur. That's the onset of faith. C'est l'activation de la foi. Now, if anybody was hearing the testimony today, si quelqu'un écoutait le témoignage aujourd'hui, we have two people on the miracle of eight and his death, his death cancellation, death freedom. On a eu deux personnes le miracle de la foi au chiffre huit, c'est la cancellation, pardon, l'annulation de la dette. I love to connect with what the Holy Ghost is doing. J'aime connecter, il aime connecter avec ce que le Saint Esprit fait. The debt was cancelled, a debt was paid. Et la dette était annulée, la dette a été payée. All eight, eighteen hundred, eight thousand. 18, uh, 1808 000 dollars. Yeah, uh, you, you have your Et tout le monde qui est supposé la voix l'aura. Amen. 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 Tu veux assurer ce soir ou tu veux expliquer? Qu'est-ce que tu attrapes le, le, le dead at the cancel, the cancellation tout. tous Tout, oui. Oui, tout. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> um, I, 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 and April, we are entering is a month of blessing, so you can imagine. Don't agree, oh. c'est le mois de bénédiction. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. So many blessings. Beaucoup de bénédictions. Amen. Amen. So we said that the, the three concept of the second concept of faith, le deuxième concept de foi, which we're talking, which we said that is the concept of belief and faith. C'est le concept de la croyance et de la foi. He said, we said, when you believe, all things become possible. On a dit quand tu crois, toutes choses deviennent possibles. But when you act, mais quand tu agis, your faith is a, your action. Et ta foi, ce sont tes actions. And your faith must come from what you have believed. Et ta foi doit venir de ce que tu as cru. And the third concept, et le troisième concept, which is what we are going to see today, c'est ce que nous allons voir aujourd'hui, is faith action. C'est la foi d'action. Faith action. La foi par les actions. No. Foi d'action. Action de foi. Action de foi. Mm-hmm. Faith action. L'action de foi. Are you there with me? That's the next, the next concept of faith. Ça c'est le de, euh, troisième concept de foi. Follow me to the book of James chapter two. Uh, nous allons aller à Jacques chapitre 2. From verse 14, we are looking at New Living Translation. À partir du verset 14. Jacques 2, à partir du verset 14. New Living Translation. 
What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith <coughs> save anyone? No. Est-ce que la foi sans les actions peut sauver quelqu'un? No. So what is he saying? Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? He said the product of your, the, the validity of your faith are the actions you do. Donc la validité de ta foi ce sont les actions que tu poses. He said what good it is? Il dit qu'en est-il de bon? If you say you have faith, si tu dis tu as la I foi, I want to see your actions. Je veux voir tes actions. Because your actions will produce works. Parce que tes actions vont produire des œuvres. And the works you produce, et des œuvres que tu produis, is the proof that you have faith. C'est la preuve que tu as la foi. Even if you don't say I have faith, si tu ne dis pas que tu as la we foi, look at what you are producing. Nous regardons à ce que tu produis, and we will know what you are believing. Et nous allons savoir à quoi, à ce à quoi tu crois. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? So he says, next verse. Prochain verset, verset 15. Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing. Yes. Imagine. T- and you say goodbye, have a good day, stay warm and eat well. But you don't give the person any food. Right? He's telling you something. Eh? Don't. He says, "If you see someone who is in a need, he says, 'Rest.' Don't stop telling people you are praying for them. Journée. Start helping them. Don't. So now you don't have need to give. So now you have need to give. No. St- stop only telling people I'm praying for you. Or stop telling people I'm praying for you. Or stop telling people I'm praying for you. Or stop telling people I'm praying for Your faith is seen by the help you give. Don't. Your faith is visible by the actions that you do. Not just say I'm praying for you. Non pas c'est mandé je prie pour toi. Because as a matter of fact, many of us say we are praying for them, we don't even pray. Et beaucoup de nous disons nous je prie pour toi, mais nous ne prions même pas. Let me pas. say this. Laissez-moi dire ceci. If you tell somebody, si tu dis à quelqu'un, I will pray for you. Je prie pour toi. And I'm praying for you. Et je vais prier pour Make toi. Make sure you pray for that person. Rassure-toi de prier pour cette personne. Don't just tell it because you just want the person to feel good. Ne le dis pas parce que tu veux que la personne se sente bien. Because the moment you say I am praying for you, le moment où tu dis je suis en train de prier I pour toi, pray for you. je vais prier pour toi. Heaven is waiting on your prayers. Euh, le ciel attend ta prière. Le He- ciel attend ta prière. Because they want to move. Parce qu'ils veulent avancer. If you know you will not pray, si tu sais que tu ne vas pas prier, don't say it. Ne dis le, ne le dis pas. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Let's go ahead. So look at your neighbor say. Help me, don't just pray for me. Jato, Jato, voisin, aide-moi, ne prie pas seulement pour moi. I should help you, I should not just pray for you. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. All right. Next verse. Prochain verset. So, so you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good Deeds, unless faith produce good deeds, à moins que les hommes ne produisent des bonnes œuvres, ce n'est pas assez. If not, it is useless. Sinon, and c'est dead. inutile et mort. The deeds, the works, the les actions. Les les actions. Next verse. Now, someone may argue: some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good? deeds? Comment est-ce que tu peux montrer ton ta foi si tu n'as pas des actions? I will show you my faith by the good things I do. Il dit je vais te montrer ma foi par les bonnes œuvres que je fais. In other words, en d'autres mots, heaven knows you are you are faithful. Dans le ciel sait que tu es fidèle et que tu as la foi. Because the simple definition of faithful it means your faith is full. Donc la simple définition de la foi c'est que ta foi est pleine. No, faithful. Que tu es fidèle, c'est que ta foi est pleine. Yeah. Heaven knows Et le ciel connaît by the action you produce. par les actions que tu produis. So when we say faith action, Quand nous disons les actions de number foi, one, hein, it is the actions ce sont les actions that you produce que tu produis in your life dans ta vie because of what you have believed. À cause de ce que tu as cru. That is what justifies you before the Lord. C'est ce qui te justifie devant le Seigneur. That is what guarantees a secure destiny. C'est ce qui garantit une destinée sécurisée. The actions you produce. Les actions que tu produis. The lifestyle you live. Le style de vie que tu mènes. The things you do. Les choses que tu fais. Which is a product of your belief. Qui est le produit de ta croyance. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Next verse, we are going ahead. Uh, verset 19. You say you have faith, for you believe that there's one God. 
Good for you. Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. Même le diable croit qu'il y a un seul Dieu et il tremble. We said, we spoke about that last week. Remember that? Parlé de cela la Next passée. verse. Uh, verse 7. How foolish. Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Insensé. Ne vois-tu pas que la foi sans des actions est inutile? Have you inutile? seen those, those people who live anyhow and they keep telling you I have faith in God? Have you seen those people who live anyhow and they keep telling you I have faith in God? No. So the first dimension of faith action. La première dimension de la foi d'action. The works you produce. Les œuvres que tu produis. The lifestyles. Le style de vie. The good deeds you do. Les bons actes que tu fais. If I believe that God is love. Et si je crois que Dieu est amour. What is my justification of my belief? Quelle est la justification de ma croyance? Is to live in love. C'est de vivre dans l'amour. To produce love to people. C'est de produire l'amour envers les gens. If I believe. Si je crois that God has forgiven me, que Dieu m'a pardonné, what is my justification? Quelle est ma justification? Is to forgive people also. C'est de pardonner aussi les gens. That is my faith. Ça c'est ma foi. And that is what faith produces. Et c'est ce que la foi produit. It comes from what? Ça vient de quoi? It comes from what I believe. Ça vient de ce que je crois. Been done. It comes from what I believe. Ça vient de ce que je crois. If I believe. Si je crois God has healed me, que Dieu m'a guéri, what is my faith? quelle est ma foi? Is to walk c'est de marcher as somebody who is healed. comme quelqu'un qui est guéri. That is my faith. Ça, c'est ma foi. So if I walk as somebody who is healed, si je marche comme quelqu'un qui est guéri, I am no longer praying for healing. Je ne prie plus plus la, pour la guérison. How do you say you are healed and you are still praying for God to Comment heal you? Comment est-ce que tu peux dire que tu es guéri et tu continues à prier pour que Dieu te guérisse? I told you the last time. Je vous ai dit la dernière fois. If you pray for healing, si tu pries pour la and guérison, and you begin to verify it, et tu commences à vérifier, then there is doubt. Donc il y a un doute. Because the devil is the master of signs and symptoms. Parce que le diable est le maître des symptômes et des signes. He will give you so many symptoms. Il va te donner tellement de symptômes. You have to choose the voice to believe. Tu dois choisir la voix à laquelle tu Don't vas croire. Don't you see Jacob? Nous pas vu Jacob. God speaks to Jacob. Je à Jacob. I am with you. Je suis avec toi. Go back to your father's land. Repars dans le pays de ton and père. And I will protect you. Et je vais te protéger. At the same time. Et au même moment. Is Jacob's servant speak to him? Les serviteurs they tell Jacob, Ils ont dit à Jacob Esau is coming with 400 soldiers avec 4, soldats <laughs> to attack you. Pour t'attaquer. God says, Dieu dit, I will protect you, Jacob. Dieu a dit à Jacob, je vais te protéger. Esau is coming. Es, and, and the people say, et, et les gens ont dit, Esau is coming es, with 400 vient. soldiers. Avec 400 so soldats. So Jacob is turning between. Donc Jacob est entre Do I deux. believe what God says? Il, il, il croire oh, I Dieu believe dit, what people are saying. Il croit à ce que les gens disent. So Jacob begins to panic. Donc Jacob a commencé à paniquer. What does he do? Qu'est-ce qu'il a fait? The guy divides his family into three groups. Il a divisé sa famille en deux groupes. That guy was so impa- was so partial. Eh? Il était tellement partiel. He was not a just guy. Non, il n'était pas juste. Il n'était pas the droit. woman that he hates the most, he puts in front with oui, her children. Il a mis <laughs> à la femme qui détestait le plus en avant. And then the one that he loved second, he puts. Donc, and the one that he loves most, he hides behind. <laughs> donc, la femme qui aimait le plus, Rachel, il a caché en arrière. Rachel and the child, he, he hides them Donc right Rachel behind. Rachel and his children, he has hidden in the back. The first ones he put. So La if première. they killed, if they want to kill, they should kill these ones first. Donc si on voulait tuer, on devait plus tuer les Léa et les enfants en premier. Why? Pourquoi? Because Jacob begins to panic on what people said. Parce que Jacob a commencé à paniquer par rapport à ce que les gens disaient. And God says, Jacob. Et Dieu a dit Jacob. Faith. La foi. You must wrestle. Tu dois te battre to come to the place of faith. pour arriver à cet endroit de foi. So in the night, Dans la nuit, God comes to him. Dieu est venu à Jacob. It was a battle of belief. C'était une bataille de croyance. The battle that God fought with Jacob que le Dieu s'est battu avec Jacob was to bring Jacob to the place C'était pour ramener where Jacob, Jacob would believe what the word says. Où Jacob devait croire à ce que la parole avait dit. That battle 
cette bataille. Many of us were in that battle. Beaucoup de nous nous sommes dans cette bataille. The problem is that. Le problème est ceci. You are sleeping in your own battle. Tu dors dans ta bataille. I command you to be awake. Je te commande d'être réveillé. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. You will win the battle of faith. Tu vas gagner la bataille de I say you will win your battle of faith. Whatever is wrestling with your faith, receive victory over it. Receive victory over it. In Jesus name. Celebrate the Lord if you believe that. Celebrate le Seigneur si vous croyez à cela. Sit down. Oh yes. That place where you are, Cette place you are battling. Oh, tu te bats. Is it poverty or riches? Est-ce que c'est la pauvreté ou c'est la you, richesse? There is a battle. Il y a une bataille. That's what Jacob was going through. C'est ce que Jacob traversait. And the person who was fighting with him was God. Et la personne qui se battait avec Jacob, Jacob, you Dieu. have to believe my word. Jacob, tu dois croire ma parole. And Jacob was still struggling. Et Jacob avait encore de la difficulté. And God hit his leg. Et Dieu a frappé son leg. Vin. Il a fra- euh, Casser son pied. Every time you feel that pain, chaque fois que tu vas sentir you refuse to doubt me. Tu vas refuser de douter de moi. <laughs> Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? The battle of faith. La bataille de foi. But Jacob won the battle. Mais Jacob a gagné and la bataille. God says, Et Dieu a dit, you have fought with man. Tu t'es battu avec and l'homme. And fought with God. Et tu t'es battu avec Dieu. And you have prevailed. Et tu as I'm speaking to somebody. Je parle à quelqu'un. You are in a battle. Tu es dans une to bataille. believe the word or parole. to believe the symptoms. To believe the word or to parole. believe what people are saying. There is dit. grace for you to believe. Il y a la grâce pour que tu you are, there is grace for you to believe. Il y a la grâce pour Say que tu I crois. receive that grace Je reçois cette to grâce. believe the word above every signs and symptoms. De tout signe et symptoms. Receive that grace. Reçois cette grâce. Celebrate him if you believe that. Celebrate him if you believe that. Believe it. Croyez à cela. That is why. C'est la raison pour laquelle. The journey to believe. Le cheminement pour la croyance. A c'est une bataille. Oh, la beau sacata. You know, says Nicole. God says, I bless you with wealth. Oh, brillant, je te bénis avec la richesse. Amen. Amen. That's not all. Eh? C'est pas tout. Your journey to believe starts after you leave the church. Donc, ton cheminement pour la croyance commence quand tu quittes l'église. Because this place is filled with the power of God. Parce que cette place est pleine de la puissance de Dieu. It's easy to believe. Oh, c'est facile de croire. When you step out into that atmosphere out quand there. Quand tu sors dans cette atmosphère là dehors. That is when the test of your belief starts. C'est là où l'épreuve de ta croyance commence. When reality comes. Quand la réalité vient. Stand on the word. Et tiens-toi sur la When reality comes. Quand la parole vient. Stand on the word. When reality comes. Stand on the word. Tiens-toi sur la parole. That was Jacob's battle. Ça c'était la bataille de Jacob. What am I going to do? Qu'est-ce que je vais faire? Hear what God says. Écoute ce que Dieu a dit. See Esau coming with 400. Vois euh, Esaü venir avec 400 soldats. And the truth is that. Et la vérité c'est que Esau was coming with 400 to protect Jacob. Donc Esaü venait avec les 400 soldats pour protéger Jacob. All your worries are nothing. It's a Donc, lie. Nothing. Toutes tes inquiétudes c'est rien, c'est le mensonge. Your fears are nothing. Tes fiers, tes pardon, tes peurs c'est rien du tout. Jacob was afraid of nothing. Jacob avait peur. When they saw him, quand Esaïe est venu, Jacob lay down flat. Il s'est couché à plat. This guy was a guy. Eh? <laughs> he said, "My Lord." Il a dit, "Mon Seigneur." Et son c'est comme, comme le, give me a hug. Esaïe a dit, viens, 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 viens. Give me a hug. Are you there with me? Whatever you are afraid of, you have dominated it. You have conquered it. You have victory over it. In the name of Jesus, look at your neighbor. Say, the fears are nothing because you are because God has given you victory. In the name of Jesus, celebrate him if you believe that. He was afraid. He panicked. He panicked. And this guy, eh, homme, eh, even after Esau embraced him, même après que Esau l'a embrassé, Esau said, "Let us go." Esau a dit, "Allons." Let us go to Sukkot. Il a dit, "Allons à Sukkot." He said to Esau, "Il a dit à Esau, go ahead." Il a dit, "Avance." I will meet you in Sukkot. Je vais te rencontrer And à Sukkot. And the Bible says, Et la Bible "Immediately dit, Esau left. He went somewhere else." Donc exactement <laughs> quand Esau a quitté, il est allé ailleurs. 
And these were human beings. Ça, les êtres they had the same feeling like you. Ils les mêmes they have the same toi. fears like you. Ils les mêmes peurs que they nous. have the same worries like Ils you. Les mêmes But que nous. in all of their fears Mais dans tout leur and peur, all of their worries, et tous les they trusted God Ils ont fait and God en gave Dieu. them victory. Et Dieu leur a that's why victory. you must have victory. Donc, là que nous avoir I said that's why you must have victory. Là que nous avoir that's that's why you must have victory. Là que tu dois avoir that's why you must have breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. God did not condemn him because he was afraid. In all his worries, somewhere in him, he trusted God. May your hope not die. Que votre espérance ne meure pas. Say, que votre espérance ne meure pas. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Say I have victory. Dis j'ai la victoire. Say I have victory. J'ai la victoire. I didn't hear you say I have victory. J'ai la victoire. Receive victory. Reçois la victoire. And let, let your faith be alive. Et que ta foi soit In ta Jesus name. Vivante, au nom de Jésus. Celebrate the Lord if you believe Célébrez that. Le Seigneur si vous croyez en cela. Number two faith action. La deuxième foi d'action. Number two faith action are the actions you do to trigger a release of the blessing. Donc ce sont les actions que tu fais pour activer un relâchement de la bénédiction. The actions you do. Les actions que tu commets. To trigger the breakthrough. Pour activer la percée. There are times. Il y a des moments. When God. Quand que Dieu. Will put something in your heart. Va mettre quelque chose dans so ton cœur. So you can trigger a breakthrough. Pour que tu puisses activer la percée. Those are also called faith actions. Ce sont appelés les les foi d'action. We see it in the life of Abraham. Nous le voyons dans la vie d'Abraham. Do you realize that every time God Gave Abraham a promise. Abraham raised an altar. Chaque fois que Dieu donnait une promesse à Abraham, il fait il il érigeait un hôtel. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis 12. So number one faith action is altars. Donc le premier fois la première fois d'action c'est l'hôtel. Building altars. Bâtir les hôtels. Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter two. We're reading verse seven and eight. Verse seven and eight. Genesis chapter 12, sorry. Thank you. Genesis chapter 12. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, I will give this land to your descendants. And Abraham built an altar there and dedicated it to the Lord who had appeared to him. Immediately he heard the promise. Immédiatement qu'il a entendu la promesse. He raised an altar. Il a érigé un hôtel. Genesis chapter 13. Genesis 13. Verse 14 to 18. Verse 14 à 15. There are many. I'm just going to give you two because of time. Genesis. And after Lord had gone, then Abraham said, then the Lord said, look as far as you can see in every direction, north, south, east, west. Yes. I am giving all this land as far as you can see to you and your descendants as a permanent possession. God is giving a promise. Don't you don't a donné la promise He's giving Abraham. a prophecy. He donne une prophecy. I am giving you this land. Il dit, Je te donne cette terre. Next verse. I will give you so many descendants that like the dust of the earth they cannot be counted. This guy had no child. Eh? Donc, il n'avait pas d'enfant. And this is what God is saying, yeah? Et attendez ce que Dieu dit. Go and walk through the land in every direction for I'm giving it to you. Walk, not physical walk, spiritual walk. Il dit, marche dans toute euh, la terre que je te l'ai donné, pas physiquement, mais spirituellement. With the, with the eyes of your mind. Avec les yeux de ta pensée. Go and walk and Abraham moved his camp to Hebron and settled near the oak belonging to Mamre. Come on, everybody read. There he built another altar. Et il a bâti un autre hôtel. He raised an altar. Il a érigé now, un hôtel. Because we are in the new covenant, parce que nous sommes dans la nouvelle alliance, we don't raise this altar that, that we're building. Donc nous ne dirigeons pas un hôtel qu'ils ont, qu'ils eux ils faisaient. We don't raise a physical altar. Donc nous n'érigeons pas un hôtel physique. We raise a spiritual altar. Nous érigeons un hôtel spirituel. Which is an altar of prayer covenant with God. Qui est la terre de prière alliance avec Dieu. And then we put an offering on it. Et nous mettons une offrande sur cela. Which is like a sacrifice. Qui est comme un sacrifice. Because we cannot give goats and animals. Parce qu'on peut pas donner de l'or et des animaux. So what is an altar? Qu'est-ce qu'un hôtel? It's a place of covenant. C'est un lieu de alliance entre Dieu. And you. Et toi, Between spirituality entre la spiritualité, and humanity, et l'humanité. it's a place of co- covenant agreement. C'est une place de, d'alliance de, de, où vous faire un accord. Lord, what you have said, Seigneur, ce que tu as let dit, it be done que ce soit by ainsi, the altar of prayer I raise. This reche. is my sacrifice. Ça, c'est mon sacrifice. Let it be connected que ce soit to the altar on Calvary. Du Calvary. That everything you have spoken et tout ce que tu as should dit come to pass. Doit s'accomplir. That's an altar. Ça, c'est l'autel. And God respects that. Et Dieu respecte We have heard so many testimonies here. Nous avons entendu beaucoup de témoignages ici. Des gens qui ont érigé des hôtels de prière. And the miracles that they got. Et les miracles qu'ils ont eu. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? 
We raised a prayer altar for his, a, a, a sister one time. Nous avons érigé un hôtel de prière pour sa sœur. Concernant sa destinée, et immédiatement, God began to show everything that was wrong. Et Dieu a commencé à montrer c est, c est, tout ce qui n'allait pas. Up. Il a ouvert some things which had been forgotten. Certaines choses qui avaient été oubliées. Because the Lord gave a word. Parce que le Seigneur a donné une parole. We have heard many times here. Nous avons entendu plusieurs fois ici. And the Bible says, et la Bible look dit, unto Abraham. Regarde à Abraham. Faith actions. La foi d'action. I receive the word. Je reçois la parole. I covenant it. Et je m'allie à cela. It is established. C'est établi. Nothing can take it away. Et rien ne peut enlever cela. Nothing can touch it. Rien ne peut toucher cela. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? I could show you more and more. Euh, je, la plupart du temps, montre ce que c'est. It was a culture. Et c'était une culture Abraham taught all his children. que Abraham enseignait à tous ses Isaac, enfants. Isaac, Jacob, Jacob all of them, et tous, they had the culture. ils avaient une culture. The moment they hear from the Lord, du moment où ils entendaient du Seigneur, they raise an order. ils érigeaient un hôtel. Faith action. La foi d'action. Number two action. Deuxième action. Number two faith action. Deuxième foi d'action. That we see in the scripture. Que nous voyons dans les écritures. The action of honoring. Les actions d'honneur. Concept of honor. Le concept d'honneur. Through hospitality. Au travers de l'hospitalité. We see it in the scripture. Nous le voyons dans les écritures. We see it in the life of Abraham. Nous le voyons dans la vie d'Abraham. Honor. Honneur. Because when you honor. Parce que quand tu honores. You honor a servant of God. Tu honores un serviteur de Dieu. Release some things. Il relâche quelque chose. Powerful faith action. Et les puissantes voies d'action. Genesis chapter 18. Genèse 18. We saw it last week. Nous l'avons vu la semaine dernière. Abraham has a promise. Abraham avait une promesse. God says, Dieu a dit, I will give you a child. Dieu a dit, je, te donné, non, je vais te donner un enfant. But the promise has no time bound. Mais la promesse n'avait pas de temps Abraham limite. Saw three people come in. Abraham a vu trois personnes qui venaient. He ran to them. Il est allé vers eux. He washed their feet. Il a lavé leurs pieds. One of them was God. Un d'entre eux était Dieu. Honor. L'honneur. Because when you honor a servant of God, Quand tu honores un serviteur de Dieu, the maximal power of the anointing over his life begins to function. Dans le maximum de l'onction de dans sa vie commence à fonctionner. The Bible says. La Bible dit. If you give water. Il dit si tu donnes de l'eau. To a prophet. À un prophète. You receive what? Tu reçois quoi? The reward. Tu reçois in une récompense. Words, you partake in the blessings of the anointing of the prophet. Donc ça veut dire que tu participes à la bénédiction de l'onction du prophète. You receive the reward of the prophet. Tu reçois la, la récompense du prophète. That's why I say to people. C'est pour cela que j'ai dit aux gens. Don't criticize servant of God. Ne critiquez pas les serviteurs de Dieu. To their own master they fall or they stand. Ou devant leur propre maître s'ils tombent ou ils sont debout. Don't even like it. Ne même même pas ne partagez même pas. On Facebook, like. Pour Facebook. What are you liking? Qu que tu mets, euh, you are liking your destiny away. Uh -huh. les gemme, là, Leave them gemme. to God. Laissez les à Dieu. If you, if, if a, they are human beings. Ils sont des êtres humains. If a servant of God makes you to be angry. Si un de Dieu te instead, met en of we, instead of waging um, a Ukraine war in your heart. Au lieu de faire la guerre de l'Ukraine dans ton cœur. Meet the servant of God and talk it out. Seigneur, laisse-le. Non, non, pas Seigneur. Tu, 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 meet the servant of God. Ok, rencontre le serviteur de and Dieu. Talk it out. Et parle. They are human beings. Ils sont des êtres humains. But the Bible says. Mais la Bible dit. They are gift to the body of Christ. Ils sont un don pour le corps du Christ. Ephesians, it says, and he gave this gift. Et il a donné ce don. Apostles. Prophets, Apôtres, teachers, prophètes, evangelists, enseignants, pastors. évangélistes, pasteurs. So, now let me, let me say this. Laissez-moi dire ceci. In the book of Hebrews, dans le livre d'Hébreu, la Bible says, la Bible dit, some of the prophets, certains des prophètes, God took them home, Dieu les a ramenés à la maison, because the world was not worthy of them. Parce que le monde n'était pas digne d'eux. Which means people rejected them. Donc le monde les a so rejetés. So God says, I collect my gift back. Et Dieu a dit, je reprends mon don. What we don't know, if one servant of God falls, si un serviteur de Dieu tombe, it is not the person that suffers. Non, c'est pas la it personne qui souffre. It is the body souffre. of Christ that suffers. C'est le corps du Christ qui souffre. Not only the mockery, pas seulement les moqueries, but we suffer because we have missed that gift. Et nous souffrons parce que nous avons manqué ce don. Paul, Apostle Paul says, if I live, it's for your benefit. Si je vis, c'est pour ton avantage. 
If I die, I go to be with Christ. Il a dit, l'apôtre Paul a dit, s'il meurt, il But va voir Christ. Mais s'il vit, c'est pour votre avantage. There are gifts Parce qu'il y a des that God has put que Dieu a mis. not for the person non pas pour la but personne. for the edification of the body of Christ Mais pour l'édification du corps for the Christ. perfecting of the saints. Pour la perfection des saints. We have to understand these Nous things. Comprendre ces choses. That's why C'est la raison those pour laquelle. who are around me you will never hear me c'est pour cela que ceux qui sont pour d'apprendre ne vont jamais parler mal d'un serviteur. Never. Jamais. I won't. Non. I will not. Because I know. Parce que il sait. Oh yeah. To their master. À leur, devant leur maître. They stand or fall. Ils, ils sont tombés. Romans chapter 14 verse 4. Romains 14, 4. Come on, let's put it on the, on the monitor there. Afficher ça à l'écran. The concept of honor. Le concept de l'honneur. Unlock doors for breakthroughs. Débloque les portes pour la percée. It is a powerful uh, prophetic action of faith. C'est une action prophétique puissante. Abraham knew that. Abraham connaissait so cela. So he honored this man. Il a honoré cet homme. He gave them food. Il leur a donné à manger. He was hospitable to them. Il était hospitalier envers eux. And after that. Et après cela. When the men have eaten. Because people don't know. Les gens ne savent pas. I don't know why it is so. Je ne sais pas pourquoi c'est ainsi. But there is something that somebody can do to you. Il y a tellement de choses que quelqu'un peut te faire. And you are so happy. Et tu es tellement content. That by the time you begin to proclaim blessings, hey. Tu commences à proclamer la bénédiction. Why did they only proclaim the blessings after they have eaten? Pourquoi est-ce qu'ils proclament seulement la bénédiction après avoir mangé? After they have eaten, Après qu'ils aient mangé, they say, where is your wife Sarah? Dit, où est ta Sarah? Call her. Appelle-la. By this time next year. À ce moment, la hey! That is somebody's prophecy. Ça, c'est la prophecy I said that prophecy. is your prophecy. Ça, c'est la prophecy your own will not be next year. Pour toi, this year it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Celebrate him if you believe that. It will be this year. Ça va être cette année. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Look at that. Regardez à cela. Who are you to condemn someone else is seven? Their own master will judge whether they stand or fall. And with the Lord's help, they will stand and receive his approval. Wow. Avec l'aide de Dieu, ils vont se relever et recevoir l'approbation de Dieu. So when you think they are falling, Quand tu penses qu'ils sont tombés, God will make them to stand. Dieu va faire en sorte qu'ils se relèvent. Be careful. Faisons attention. You see, your problem is too much. Don't add another. Don't, don't complicate it. No problem. We have already done enough. Don't add other. Don't complicate it. No, no, complicate. Just face cela. your own and deal with what you are dealing non, with. No, just gérer à nos nos problèmes. Gérons nos problèmes. If somebody says, "Ah, did did did," leave the person there. Et si quelqu'un dit, "Ils ont fait ceci, ceci, cela." The person has grace. They don't have grace. La personne ils ont la ces personnes ont la grâce mais. Did you see what this man of God is doing? As you see what this man of God is doing? If it pains you, go and talk to him. Donc si ça te fait mal, va lui parler. If it becomes a burden, fast and pray for him. Donc si ça devient fardeau, je ne prie pour lui. As a matter of fact, Et it is your prayers. C'est ta prière. That makes the gift to become a blessing. Qui fait en sorte que le don devient une bénédiction. That is a, so if you 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 criticize the gift. Donc si tu critiques le don. It cannot be a blessing. Ça ne peut pas être une bénédiction. Second Kings chapter four. Let's look at another issue. Deux rois quatre. From verse fourteen. À partir du verset 14. Very fast. Second Kings chapter four. Deux rois quatre. Go back to verse ten. Verse eight. Thank you. One day Elijah went to the town of Shunem. A wealthy woman lived there. And she urged him to come to her home for a meal. After that, next verse. Verse 9. Whenever he passed that way, he would stop there for something to eat. The woman said, come, you see. La femme a dit, viens. Oh no, next verse. L'honneur. So she said to her husband, I am sure this man who stops him from time to time is a holy man of God. Next verse. verse Let's 10. build a small room for him on the roof and furnish it with a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp. Then he will have a place to stay. Il a dit faisons le champ pour qu'il ait une place où rester. Some say honor. Que quelqu'un dise l'honneur. Honor is not just giving. L'honneur c'est pas seulement donner. You honor even in their absence. Tu honores même dans l'absence. 
The Bible says those who teach you the word hold them in high esteem. De la Bible a dit que ceux qui vous enseignent la parole gardez les d'une grande estime. For the sake of the work they do. À cause de l'œuvre du, du travail qu'ils font. Hold them in high esteem. Donnez-les une grande estime. It's honor. C'est l'honneur. How you treat them. Comment est-ce que tu les traites? How you talk. Comment tu parles? How you behave. Comment tu te comportes? They can make mistakes. Ils peuvent faire des erreurs. They can do something that hurts you. Ils peuvent faire quelque chose qui te blesse. But you can talk to them. Mais tu peux leur parler. In humility. En humilité. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? So this woman says, let, they prepare the place for him. Donc, ils ont préparé la place pour l'homme so de Dieu. So Elisha will come and eat there. Il dit, Elisha va venir manger. Verse, go, go to verse, uh, next verse. Prochain verset 11. Someone say one day. Un jour. I didn't hear you say one day. Un jour. Ah, yeah, yeah. May one day come to pass on your life. Mais que un jour puisse ah. accomplir dans votre vie. One day, Elisha returned to Shunna and he went to the upper room to rest. Next verse. He said to his servant Gehazi, tell the woman I want to speak to her. When she appeared, next verse. Elijah said, tell her we appreciate the kind concern you have shown us. What can we do for you? Now you notice it is God asking, not Elijah. Donc c'est Dieu qui demande qu'est-ce que tu veux, pas Élisée. What can we do for you? Eli, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour toi? Can we put in a good word for you? Next verse. No, she replied, my family takes good care of me. Next verse. Then later Elisha said, what can we do? And Gehazi replied, she does not have a son. Et Gehazi a dit, elle n'a pas d'enfant. She does not have a son. Elle n'a pas de fils. Oh no. L'honneur. And her husband is an old man. Et son mari est un homme âgé. Oh, because the woman didn't even mention it. Because when you, when, when you lost hope of things, people, you don't talk it again. Non, parce que quand tu perds l'espérance des choses, tu ne parles même plus de cela. Have you ever seen a, a, a sister that has lost hope of marriage? Give marriage prayer point, she's quiet. Donc, tu as vu une fille qui a perdu l'espérance pour le mariage. Tu as les sujets de prière pour le mariage, elle ne prie même pas. If you insist on the prayer point, she goes to the bathroom. Donc, si tu insistes sur le point de prière, elle va aux toilettes. Oh, yes. So this woman has lost hope. Don't set time of There's no mentioning of, of, of barrenness. Don't mention the last But Gehazi knew. But Gehazi knew. He said the woman has no child. Il a dit l'enfant n'a la femme n'a pas d'enfant. Because of honor and hospitality. À cause de l'honneur et de l'hospitalité. Friend, bien aimé. There are actions you do. Il y a des actions que tu fais. That unlock doors which prayer and fasting cannot unlock. Qui ouvre les portes que les jeunes et les prières et prières ne peuvent pas ouvrir. Everything is not prayer and fasting. Tout chose c'est pas prière et jeûne. This is this woman. Ça c'est cette femme. Look at what is unlocking the door of barrenness. Regarde ce qui ouvre sa porte pour la stérilité. And the man of God said, next verse. Et l'homme de Dieu a dit. Come her back again. Elijah said, when the woman came, Elijah said to her, as she stood in the doorway, next verse. Next year at this time, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. you will be holding a son in your arms. Next year at this time, a miracle. Receive that miracle. miracle. I say, receive that miracle. If your miracle is one more bow, receive it. If it is two months, receive it. If it is three months, receive it. If it is by the end of the year, receive it. If it is by this time next year, receive it. In the name of Jesus, say, I receive that miracle. By the power of God, celebrate him if you believe that. Hey, Abalaba Sakada. People understand spiritual things. Les gens comprennent les choses spirituelles. They understand spiritual things. Ils comprennent les choses spirituelles. Are you understanding me? Est-ce que vous comprenez? Now let me share this testimony. Laissez-moi partager ce témoignage. Even though she doesn't want me to share it. Even though she doesn't want me to share. Okay, même si je ne veux pas qu'il partage. We are talking about Pastor Emmanuel there. On parle du pasteur Emmanuel là-bas. Do you know? Savez-vous que? From 2000, when? 2022. Oh, 22. Every 2022. Every Sunday, every Sunday, the wife gives me food. Uh, sorry, I'm saying it. 
So there are things which happen, they don't happen by, by accident. Donc, il y a des choses qui se passent, ça ne se passe pas par accident. Every Sunday. Chaque dimanche. And the food she gives is the one that feeds my whole house the whole week. Donc, et la nourriture qu'elle donne, c'est une nourriture qui nourrit la, la, la famille Even de la Even when the husband semaine. was in the hospital, she was giving food every Sunday. Même quand son mari était à l'hôpital, elle donnait la nourriture chaque dimanche. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, this one is pressure. <laughs> I'm eating the food. I said, Father, remember the more. Remember the more. Remember the more. Then you might say, you remember the more. 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 I'm telling you more. And that time, Et cet an, they were believing God for documents. Et ils, ils croyaient and en Dieu pour les documents. J'ai dit, la faute a dit, c'est... Hey, hey! May I not eat this food and nothing happened to them? Que je ne mange pas cette nourriture et que rien ne leur arrive. Hey! Hey! Pressure! La pression. You have to fast and pray for them by force. Tu dois prier et jeûner pour eux par la force. Timeless time, we had, we had to all ask in the night. Hey, look at this food. Regardez à cette nourriture. Oh my, whatever gave you that revelation here? <laughs> are you understanding me? Est-ce que vous me comprenez? There are things. Il y a des choses. You have to position yourself and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Tu dois te positionner, être sensible au Saint-Esprit. So you Esprit. know the faith actions to do. Donc tu dois connaître la foi d'action à faire. Sometimes it might require consistency. Parfois ça peut demander la constance. But what God has programmed ahead. Mais ce que Dieu a programmé Now, en avance. Now when we look at all the testimonies. Quand nous regardons à tous les témoignages. Then we begin to understand. Et là nous commençons à comprendre. What God was arranging. Ce que Dieu arrangeait. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous comprenez? May God give you discernment. Que Dieu vous donne le discernement. I say may God give you discernment. Que Dieu vous donne le discernement. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Are you hearing me? Est-ce que vous me comprenez? Say I receive it in the name of Jesus. Je reçois au nom de Jésus. In the name, celebrate the Lord if you believe that. Célébrez le Seigneur si vous croyez à cela. Do it with sincere heart. Faites-le avec un cœur sincère. Amen. And you will be surprised. Et vous serez surpris. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Because it stands now. Parce que ça se tient maintenant. Oh, I pray the prayer. Il a fait la prière. I said, God, you cannot disgrace me. Il dit, Seigneur, tu peux. Il a dit, Seigneur, tu peux pas me faire honte. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I said, it is pressure. J'ai dit, c'est la pression. It's like, uh, brother Yannel is coming to pick me every Sunday and bring me. He, he doesn't know the pressure he's putting on me. Donc, c'est comme le frère Yannel qui vient, qui va chercher la peau tous les dimanches. Il sait pas la pression qu'il met. Every Sunday. Chaque dimanche. He drives to Tebon. Il conduit à Tebon. Drives me to church. Il me, il conduit la porte de l'église. I have a car. J'ai la, la porte d'une voiture. Whatever pressure, that's it. Peu importe la pression. Let it be established. Que ce soit établi. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. You don't know the pressure you are putting. Il ne sait pas la pression qu'il met. Oh yes. <laughs> Let's not go into that. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. God have mercy. Miséricorde. Now I'm not telling. No, don't come and put me pressure, please. Ne mettez pas la pression. I'm not believer. I'm not believer. We have we've had enough, amen. <laughs> but everybody. Toute personne. Every faith action you are doing. Toute foi d'action que vous faites. May the Lord give you a breakthrough there. Que le Seigneur vous donne une percée là-bas. May the Lord answer you there. Que le Seigneur vous répond là-bas. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Celebrate the Lord. Célébrez le Seigneur. Quickly, let's get to the third one. Giving. Trois donner. Giving. Donner. Giving is divided in dimensions. Donner c'est divisé en plusieurs. Number one, there's seed sowing. Un, il y a la semence. Number two, there's sacrificial testing. Un, il y a le, le sacrifice, les actions de sacrifice. No testing, sacrificial okay. testing. Les épreuves de sacrifice. And number three. Trois. There's charity. Il y a la charité. Number one, seed sowing. Il y a six. You sow seed. Tu sèmes des semences. To a higher spiritual authority. À une, à une autorité plus grande. You, you don't give to an orphan and say you are sowing seed. That's not seed. Non, tu donnes pas un orphan, un orphan. Tu dis que tu as sémé une semence. That's charity. Ça c'est la charité. It has its own doors it can open for Et you. Et oui, ça c'est porte que ça peut ouvrir. You are helping the needy. Tu aides les nécessiteurs. Because there are people in the Bible. Parce qu'il y a des gens dans la Bible. Who had their breakthrough. Qui ont eu leur pensée. Because they helped the needy. Parce qu'ils ont aimé, ils ont aidé les nécessiteurs. C'est aussi une foi d'action. Somebody called me one time. A lady came to me. Une fois, quelqu'un, une femme m'a appelé la porte. I was preaching in Toronto. Il prêchait à Toronto. He said, my brother. 
il a dit, la femme a dit, mon frère. It's in Lagos, Nigeria. It's in il, Nigeria. Il est à, à, à Lagos, au Nigeria. And he had problems. Mais il a des problèmes. He's a qualified lawyer. Il est un, un avocat qualifié. And he's, there's no do- he's useless. Il est inutile. And the moment the Lord said, tell the, tell it, tell her to tell the brother. Et le, le, le Seigneur dit à la peau de dit à cette dame dit à son frère. To look for an orphanage. De chercher un orphelinat. And feed that orphanage for one week. Et nourrir cet orphelinat pendant une semaine. The quantity doesn't matter. Feed the orphanage for one week. La quantité n'est pas nécessaire. And the guy obeyed. And he called the brother. The brother obeyed. Et le frère a obéi. Il a appelé son frère. Il a obéi. Feed, he fed the orphanage for one week. Il a nourri l'orphelinat pour After un an. one week, Après une semaine, he got a call il a eu un appel from the state commission. De le, le commission. There was an appointment letter il y avait une lettre at the level of the state au, au niveau de l'état. by one of the directors of something. Et one de, a, parmi l'un and des it was on the desk. Et c'était and sur when le got the call, you know what they asked him? Et qu'est-ce qu'on lui a, on, Where on, have you been? We have been searching for you for three months. Et on lui a dit, on te cherchait, ça fait trois How mois. How do you search for somebody for three months? Comment est-ce que tu peux chercher quelqu'un pendant trois mois? The letter was signed three months ago. La lettre avait été signée avec de cela trois mois. Anything that you are supposed to receive that has been recevoir. hidden, I, I command it to be released now. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Somebody quelqu'un made it to disappear. A fait en sorte que cela disparaisse. But when he did that prophetic action, Mais quand il a fait cette action prophétique, the doors were open. La porte s'est ouverte. So there is charity. Donc il y a la charité. There is seed sowing. Il y a les semences. And the Bible says, Et la Bible dit, God gives seed to the sower. Il dit donne la semence au semeur. And he gives bread to the eater. Il donne le pain à pour manger. But he multiplies the seed. Mais il multiplie Not la the semence. bread. Pas le pain. Abraham. Abraham he gave a donné to Melchizedek, a Melchizedek who blessed him. Qu'il a béni. You don't sow seed to somebody who doesn't have the capacity to bless you. Donc tu ne sèmes pas la semence à, à, à quelqu'un qui n'a pas la capacité de te bénir. You don't. No. It's wastage. C'est le gaspillage. The person must have the authority to say, "I bless you." La personne doit avoir l'autorité de dire, "Je te bénis." And it will stand. Et ça va tenir. And there are times il y a des moments when for you to have that breakthrough, pour que tu puisses avoir the cette Lord place, will bring you to that space. Le Seigneur va t'amener à Give a seed offering. Donne une semence, une semence d'action. And you do it. Et tu le fais. And then doors are open. Et les portes s'ouvrent. Dans ma trie, trois, sacrificial test. Les épreuves de, de les épreuves de sacrifice. What is that? Qu'est-ce que c'est? It's when the Lord c'est quand le Seigneur ask you te demande to give all you have te demande de donner tout ce que tu as you need. pour ce dont tu as besoin. <laughs> Hello? Hello? People don't hear me there. This one, they have kept quiet. Et ceci, ils sont restés calmes. If you are, if you are, if you, if you, if you are religious logic, why would God ask that? He will ask. Donc, si tu as la, 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 la pensée le, uh, religieuse, tu vas dire, pourquoi est-ce que Dieu peut demander Let's cela? Let's see one example and then we close. Nous allons voir un exemple et nous allons clôturer. First Kings. Un roi. Chapter 17. Un roi 17. There are many examples, but we'll look at one verse 8. From verse 8, very fast. Un roi 17, à partir du verset 8. 17, à partir then du verset 8. Then the Lord said to Elijah, very fast, go with me fast. Go and live in the village of Zarephath near the city of Sidon. I have instructed a widow there to feed you. And he went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering sticks and asked her, would you please bring a little water in a cup? Next verse. As she was going to get it, he called to her, bring me a little bread to eat too. Next verse. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God, I don't have a single piece of bread in my house. And I have only a handful of flour left in a jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. You know, you know, you know what's the bottom? Quand vous savez quand au fond. You know that time when you want to cook, you have to shake the bottle. Quand quand tu dois préparer, tu dois la bouteille. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal, and then my son and I would die. Il dit, je rassemblais ce bois pour préparer pour que mon fils et moi nous mourrons. But God says, go there, that woman will feed you. Mais Dieu a dit, va là-bas, <laughs> cette femme va te nourrir. And you think God didn't know that that's what the woman had? Est-ce que vous savez, est-ce que vous, vous pensez que Dieu ne savait pas? And then Elijah came there. Et Elie est allé là-bas. Elijah. Elie est allé là-bas. Oh, next verse. 
prochain and, and verset. Elijah said, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you've said, but make a little bread for me first. Give me that bread first. Et Elie a dit, donne-moi ce pain en premier. This is spiritual wickedness. Ça, c'est la méchanceté spirituelle. For good. Pour, 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 le, pour bien. le bien. Okay. You have just this one. Donc, tu as juste for cela. you and your son. Pour toi et ton and you fils. know how women are particular with their son. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. Et tu sais comment les femmes sont particulières okay. avec leur fils. <laughs> and he says, this for me and my son. Il a dit, the man of God said, give me. Et le, l'homme de Dieu a dit, donne. It is a test. C'est une épreuve. For multiplication. Pour la multiplication. Why is God testing you? Pourquoi est-ce que Dieu te prouve? He wants to see. Il veut voir. The level of your selflessness to be able to handle the multiplication. Il veut voir ton niveau de d'abandon pour arriver à la multiplication. Because greediness will kill multiplication. Parce que l'avarice va détruire la multiplication. Selflessness, he wants to see. L'altruisme, il veut voir cela. Why is he testing you? Pourquoi est-ce qu'il t'éprouve? He wants to see if you understand. Il veut voir si tu comprends. That what you have que ce que is tu not as able to take you to where you have to go. N'est pas capable de t'amener où tu veux aller. So give what you have. Donne ce que tu as so that he can give you what you need to go to where you have to go. Pour te donner ce dont tu as besoin pour aller où tu veux. That's what he's saying. C'est ce qu'il dit. Is he also testing you? Est-ce qu'il te prouve aussi to understand? Pour comprendre. If you know that he's a provider. Si tu connais qu'il est le pourvoyeur. And there are times Et il y a des when moments God will do that. Où Dieu va faire cela. Not all the time. Pas tout Sometimes le temps. he can lead you through different Faith actions. Et parfois, il peut te dire dans différentes fois d'action. For me, pour la most of the time, that is what God does. C'est ce que Dieu fait. I need a car. Il a besoin d'une voiture. My car is acting up. Et le, la, la voiture de la Terrible. a des problèmes terriblement. That was some years ago. Il y a de, c'est, il y a de cela quelques années. Say we need a car. Il a dit, nous avons besoin d'une voiture. Because that other car <laughs> was, was, a, was a backslider. <laughs> Parce que cette voiture là, c'était une autre grade. <laughs> How many people have had a backsliding car? You start it, boom. Tu démarres. We have suffered in this country. <laughs> Praise God. Gloire à Dieu. And I said, Lord, I need a car. Donc la porte a dit, j'ai besoin d'une voiture. We need to buy the car cash. Ils ont besoin d'acheter une voiture cash. And this is the amount. Et voilà le montant. And the Lord said. Et le Seigneur a dit. What do you have? To give me. Et le Seigneur a demandé à la porte, qu'est-ce que tu as pour donner? He said, can you take all what you have in your account? Et, et le Seigneur a demandé à la porte, prends tout ce que tu as dans ton compte. And I will show you a church in Africa. Et il va montrer une église Send en Afrique. Send it there. Envoie ça Don't là-bas. put it in vitrine. Ne mets pas vitrine. Because you cannot give to yourself. Parce que tu peux pas te donner à toi-même. And he showed me. Et il a montré. And I sent it there. Et il l'a envoyé là-bas. It's not easy. C'est pas facile. My wife was pregnant. Et son époux, l'épouse était enceinte. We had a boy. Ils avaient She était was garçon. pregnant with her daughter. Elle était enceinte de la fille. And money was very difficult. Et l'argent était difficile. Oh, you need to fast and pray before you have money. <laughs> Besoin de prier, je n'ai pour avoir de l'argent. He said, send it. Il a dit envoie. I was praying on the altar. Il pria le and temps. And I sent it. Et il a entendu envoie. Within two weeks. I don't know semaines. how it happened. La ne sait pas comment ça s'est passé. Money came, L'argent and we bought them car cash. Ils ont acheté la voiture. Ils God cash. has done that many times. Dieu l'a fait plusieurs what fois. What do you have? Qu'est-ce que tu as? Can you give it to me? Est-ce que tu peux donner ça? There are sacrificial testing. Il y a des épreuves de sacrifice. Trust him. Fais le confiance. I am not saying that he will ask you all the time. Non, je n'ai, la ne Because pas some of you, your faces are already afraid. Parce que c'est <laughs> la foule, vous avez déjà peur. You are already a, no. No. <laughs> I'm saying if he can, if he asks you that. Donc s'il demande cela. Don't hold back. Ne retenez pas. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? Because it will unlock mysteries. Parce qu'il va débloquer des mystères. Even your time. Même this votre temps. This can be a sacrificial testing. Ça porte aussi un temps de sac, un God test de you, sacrifice. God can tell you. Je peux vous dire. Can you sacrifice your time for me? Est-ce que tu peux sacrifier ton temps pour le Seigneur? Even your service Même tes can services. be a sacrificial testing. Peut être un test, une épreuve de sacrifice. Because there are many breakthroughs Parce qu'il y a beaucoup which de are held bound qui sont because of service. À cause des services. Are you there with me? 
Est-ce que vous êtes là? Prophetic faith action. Les fois d'action. You will not miss any. Vous n'allez rater aucun. I say you will not miss any. Vous n'allez rien rater. You will not miss any. Vous n'allez rien rater. Right, the next one, faith action rewards. Les récompenses de foi d'action. Service and reward is a faith action. Les services et les récompenses c'est les fois d'action. Yes. Amen. It's a faith action. C'est les fois d'action. God can tell you. Eh, Dieu peut te dire. I've seen people. Et il a vu des gens. The Lord lays in their heart. Le Seigneur met dans leur cœur. Clean the church for one week. Il nettoie l'église pour une semaine. One week. Une semaine. The sister is cleaning. La sœur nettoie. Cleaning. Nettoie. At the end of the cleaning. À la fin du nettoyage. Mighty breakthrough. Une grande percée. There are things we despise. Il y a des choses que nous négligeons, nous méprisons. There are some things you don't even need to fast. Il y a des choses dont tu n'as même pas besoin de jeûner. If your spirit is open, si ton esprit est ouvert, the Lord will give you a prophetic action to le do. Le Seigneur va te donner une action prophétique à faire. And it will unlock your faith. Et ça doors. va débloquer ta foi d'action. Are you there with me? Est-ce que vous êtes là? I've seen situations like that. Euh, la porte a vu des situations comme cela. They say, I'm cleaning the church. De nettoyer l'église. So there is service which is a which is a faith action. Il y a des services qui sont les fois d'action. And also there's reward. Et il y a aussi les récompenses. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Every faith action. There, every faith action you do. Tout fois d'action que tu fais. Will produce result. Va produire des résultats. I say will produce result. Va produire des résultats. I didn't hear your amen to that. Amen. I say we produce results. It will produce results. It will produce results. In the name of Jesus. You shall not be afraid. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Because faith action makes Jesus see your faith. Remember the story of the, of the, of the layman. They went through the roof. Il sont il allait au toit. Through the roof, il a percé le toit. Drop him down. Il a and Jesus saw their feet. Et Jésus a vu leur foi. And said the miracle. Il a stand up and walk. Il a dit le miracle. Vous lève toi. Stand on your feet. Levez-vous. There are some of you. Il y a certains d'entre vous. You have been doing faith actions. Vous avez fait des fois d'action. You have not seen the result. Vous n'avez pas vu les résultats. I'm speaking to you. Je vous parle. You did it sincerely. Vous l'avez fait sincèrement. Lift up your hand. Levez vos mains. And let that grace for the reward come upon you. Et que cette grâce de la récompense vienne. I say, let that grace for the reward come upon you. Que cette grâce de récompense vienne. You have been sowing seeds. Vous avez semé des semences. Raising altars. Érigé des résultats. Honoring. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, and nothing happens. This is for you. Because next week we are no longer going to talk about this. Right, the next one which we is vows. Vows is also a faith action. Example, Hannah. Father, if you give me a son, I will give him back to you. From that day, conception came. La conception est venue. Vows. Les vœux. But when you make that vow, <laughs> Mais quand vous faites ce vœu, hey, abada, abada. <laughs> make sure you keep it too. Vous de Because de vows de have an, 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 a negative effect also. Parce que le vœu a un effet négatif aussi. You can make vows. Vous pouvez faire des vœux. I made vows. <laughs> J'ai fait des oh, vœux. Yes. When we were struggling, quand ils se débattaient, il y avait la no difficulté. Money. Il n'avait pas d'argent. Not even able to pay. No, I, 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 no salary, nothing. Il n'avait pas de salaire. I made a vow. La potra fait des vœux. Father, Père, if you give the church finances, si tu donnes à l'église des finances, they are able to pay salaries. Ils sont capables de payer les salaires. I will give you 20% of my tithe instead of 10. Il a, la potra dit, il va donner 20% de la dîme au lieu de 10%. And God did it too. Et Dieu l'a fait. And I forgot. Thank God I wrote it down in a book. Il a oublié. Heureusement qu'il avait écrit. One day, un jour. He doesn't forget these things. Dieu n'oublie pas ces choses. Prophetess, one day I'm looking at my my my, my bookshelf. Un jour il regarde à son échelle. Something says, pick that little book and go through it. Et quelqu'un quelque chose a dit, prends ce petit livre. I bring the little, it's a little black book. Il a pris c'est un petit livre. And I'm opening, I see. Il ouvre, il a vu. My covenant vow. Les vœux d'alliance. And then I read it. Il a lu. And the Lord says, I'm waiting. Et le Seigneur dit, j'attends. Do it. Fais-le. <laughs> it redeems it. Il rachète cela. Vows is another way to unlock doors. Les vœux c'est une autre façon d'ouvrir les portes. But make sure you you are honest with yourself that you fulfill it. Et rassurez-vous que vous soyez honnête pour pouvoir arracher. And when the Lord told me to fulfill it, eh? Et quand le Seigneur demandait d'accomplir cela, bien aimé, He told me from when He started doing it. 
Donc, il a dit de commencer par ça. All the ten percent you didn't give. Donc, il a commencé du moment il, il devait, il le devait. Donc, comme racheter le temps. Can you, can you forgive? He said no. Et il a demandé est-ce que je peux pardonner? Il a dit non. Lift up your hand. Levez la main. What faith action did you take? Quelle foi d'action est-ce que tu as fait? Did you make a vow and not fulfill it? Est-ce que tu as fait un vœu et tu n'as pas tenu? God is able to redeem you. Dieu est capable de te and give you that grace. Et te donner cette grâce. The, are you doing some faith action? You are not seeing result. Est-ce que tu fais des fois d'action? Tu ne vois pas le résultat. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Par le sang de Jésus. I receive mercy. Je reçois la miséricorde. For every faith action. Pour toute foi d'action. To produce result. Pour produire le résultat. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Oh Lord. Oh Seigneur. Unlock the mystery. Où? of my breakthrough in the name of Jesus let me break out by the power of God in the name of Jesus open your mouth and thank the Lord because those actions will produce results come on begin to thank him begin to thank him begin to thank him let me hear you thanking the Lord 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 Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear you thanking the Thank Lord. You, Abba, you will receive the reward. Receive you will receive the breakthrough. Your action shall not be futile. Let me hear you blessing the Lord. It is so. It shall come to pass. I receive it. 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 Begin to thank him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. I don't want you to pray that Lord help. Begin to thank him because it is done. Open your mouth and thank him. Thank him because it is done. Thank him because it is done. Thank him because it is done. It's a covenant week of provision. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand. It's a covenant week of provision. On Bible study, we are still talking about provision. Provision in every aspect. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, I thank you. Because it is done by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Celebrate him if you believe that. Celebrate him. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord be gracious to you. The hand of God be upon you. Go in the power of God. May every faith action produce results. You will see the miracles. You will see the miracles. The miracle of eight is still open. Walk in that miracle. Eight plus eight. Eight minus four. Eight divided by two. Whatever form of eight. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Be blessed as you join us online. God bless you. Amen. Amen.